Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll, with you till 11 o'clock. Uh, I always say, if ever there is a Wilcox in the building, I feel at ease. They have a very sort of calming influence. So we normally talk about Joe or Kat. Um, and we've got both of them today. First time ever. This has been, I think, with me that I've got both of you. Lucky enough to have both of you today. So, yeah, we've got Joe who's directing and Kat upstairs who's producing and she is right now logging into the email address. So if you do want to send in any photographs, any pictures. In fact, so let me tell you about today's show. We've got, as you can see, loads of fabric. Absolutely loads and loads and loads of gorgeous fabric. Early Bird's amazing. New inspiration from a new book. We've got loads coming up this hour. In the next hour, we're going to do a bit of a roundup of all of the most incredible kits. Some of the best selling kits since starting Sewing Street, including the best selling quilt, the Starburst Tula Pink. It's Amazing. Uh, launched for John's birthday uh, a couple of weeks ago and we've got it back in. So if you do want to send in any of your photographs, if you've got any of the kits, if you've made any of the kits during the lockdown, we'd love to see them. Please, please do send your photographs in. Just come and say hello. Let me know what you're up to. How's your week going so far? Uh, what are you keeping? How are you keeping busy when it's raining? Because I know that we've all been, you know, loving the summer and loving in the sunshine and then all of a sudden it's gone very very miserable and rainy so let me know what you're doing to keep yourself occupied it's studio at sewingstreet.com studio at sewingstreet.com um it'd be lovely to have your company this morning message in and let us know what you're up to uh and if you can send in any of your photographs we'd love to show them on air if that's okay send in your name as well so we can give you a big shout out so that's the first two hours the last hour we're going to get your work rooms kitted out we've got lots of great gift ideas as well so something for everybody today it's a real jump packed show a real gem packed show it's taken forever sort of unpacking everything but first of all when you talk about early birds the start of the show big saving on something that whenever we have as an early bird special sells out like this in fact it's already selling it already sold a, a lot of it before we even launched it um on the show uh, those of you that are eagle eyes on the website you would have been all over this saving of a pound it's a meter and a half of osnaberg for six pounds 50 as your early bird special today let me show you what a meter and a half look like because it's going to be pre-cut so if you're multi-buying as i know so many of you will you'll get a meter and a half that's already been pre-cut off the bolt for you it's brilliant because look at how affordable it is whether you're new to sewing or you want to try out something we talk about making a twelve with dressmaking um so this is ideal for that but what about if you're making a 12 for bag making or you know if you want to do toys with this, it's got that almost lovely sort of, reminds me of very posh vanilla ice cream. I love this. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like that fresh vanilla, isn't it? Uh, and I think it looks beautiful as almost like your shabby chic country uh, kitchen makes. You know, like lovely little, um, I'm thinking like almost to go with your Hessian styles. Uh, do you know, like little, um, I'm thinking like little hearts with lace on or rickrack or filled with lavender or they're absolutely beautiful. What about little cushions to go outside with lovely white little buttons or floral buttons? They're so pretty. I mean, as I say, it's just a really great way of getting a lot of fabric in your stash. If you want to do bag uh, bean bag inners. If you've ever seen, you know, the big bean bag patterns, which I know so many people have been making during lockdown. I see them on the Facebook page. Um, and you need to make an inner, a cushion inner. And these are lovely. Six pounds fifty <laughs> for a meter and a half. It's Joe's birthday on Saturday, and um, so Joe he's displayed them over there really nicely for me to see. Debbie often makes Joe little gifts and little presents, and he's like, right, V, it's my birthday on Saturday. You need to make me something. Debbie's made me this and this and this. I'm going to put it on the shelf there to remind you that Debbie makes me those things. So uh, he's now just decided he wants a beanbag for his new house that he's moving into. I'll make you a beanbag, Joe, for your birthday. £6.50. It's just a lovely neutral cotton Osnaburg fabric for your stash. £6.50. You can't go wrong. And it's your early bird special. Remember... Every single time we've had Osnaberg as an early bird, it's sold out. So I've never, ever had Osnaberg as an early bird before. So I begged and pleaded and said, please, 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 can I have Osnaberg? Even when I did the early bird roundup show last week, there wasn't enough. 
there wasn't enough. I think we had one unit left and we said, oh, well, it's there on the web, get it. And we didn't even show it on air. Um, so if you do want to, to make the most of this early bird special price, make the most of it. Now, I'll tell you what, there's 20 units left. That's it, 20 units left if you wanted. Take advantage because we made sure that we had loads and loads and loads of these. I've got a feeling that before half past eight, I'll be saying that sold out. If you are umming and ahhing about it, remember, no matter how many times you check out of your basket, you still only pay one PMP. So if you're thinking, right, I've got my eyes peeled on something else from this hour, don't worry, you can still check out on this and you'll still be able to use that one flat rate of £3.95 all day long. It will become, it will come pre-cut already, a metre and a half, pre-cut for you, uh, which is loads and loads of lovely natural seeded Osnaberg. Uh, for a brilliant, brilliant early bird special price of just £6.50. Right, I'm going to leave it with you, but have a serious think about it. Don't wait too long because that's going to sell out again. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Right. So if you do want to get in touch, as I say, the email address, or if you want to uh, to, to, to purchase with us today, it's www.sewingstreet.com. Remember, you can watch live on the website. You can sign up for our newsletter, and also you can shop all of the categories. You can see all of the items already listed from today's show. So get buying, get shopping. It's exciting, isn't it? We've got loads of fabric this hour, plus brand new book, which we'll be talking about soon. Okay, can I just go straight into this? Because I've had serious envy watching John um, having a bit of a play with these because John launched these and I'm a huge advocate of Aurifil. Um, if you've watched the adverts and where Debbie talks about her top tips, her first top tip is buy a good quality thread because they're less likely to break because that you won't get as much lint build up on your machine. Um, I know so many quilters that now only use Aurifil. Now, it seems like a bit of an investment when you're looking at prices like this, but actually if you break it down, the price per meter, it's really great value. Uh, cotton fabric, it is a cotton thread. And I know that if you're using cotton fabric, I know quilters like to sort of match up um, their, their fabric choices. That, so if you're using polyester, then they use polyester thread. Using cotton quilting weight fabrics, they like to use cotton threads. Aurifil are masters in the game of cotton threads. They are world renowned and we have teamed up with them for our exclusive 10 pack. Now this is your 50 weight, which is, um, I'd go as far as saying probably your most universal weight. So you can use this in your machine, you can use this in your bobbin, you can use it for piecing, you can use it for applique, you can use it for all sorts, you can use it for hand stitching, we've put the grey in there. So for EPP lovers, we love a grey because it tends to blend between the fabrics. Quite often when you start EPPing you might use like a, a white or a black, but actually if you're using lots of different fabrics, grey tends to blend the best. Uh, you've got your neutrals as well, but this beautiful shades of blue look at that one and the gorgeous pinks and greens this is a great thing isn't it when you're looking at um when you're looking at polyester threads that's when you normally get the array of beautiful bright colors but orophil my word they are incredible at what they do and they've put together the most stunning colors for us 33 pounds 99 pence on each of the spools you get 200 meters so that is a lot, 2,000 meters of thread, 50 weight, 10 different colors for 33 pounds and 99 pence. I know that we launched this um, back with John last week and it's been so, 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 so popular. I'd love to hear from you if you use Aurifil thread. If you use it, then please let me know what it is that you love about it because there's so many people, as I say, who, um, Maybe if you're at the start of your sewing journey, it's not on the top of your necessity list. But as you're starting to think about the different fabrics that you're using and um, working with, you know, some of your more designer fabrics, we're cutting up our fabrics and sewing them back together in our patchwork pieces. We're thinking about the fabrics we're using. Maybe you're at that point that you're starting to think about what threads you're using as well. It will go an extra mile because as Debbie said in her top tips, it's super duper strong. Absolutely brilliant quality, and it's £33.99. Remember, exclusive to us. Exclusive to us here at Sewing Street, made by our team, teamed up with world renowned Aurifil. This is what I find amazing. Um, bearing in mind, we only launched the show in February. 
just before all of the madness in the world started. So it just shows, doesn't it, our sort of... Um, we are working behind the scenes with a very, very small team, but a team of absolute industry experts that have made connections over the years of working in the industry. And therefore, we're able to team up with companies like Fiscar, as you've seen, uh, we, we work very closely with, with companies like, as I say, Orofil. Amazing that we actually have our own exclusive essentials collection from Orofil for £33.99. Look at all those amazing colours. Okay. I was really, really excited about talking about those because um, I have obviously saw when we bought to you the uh, the blacks and the the the, uh, the whites and the greys in the in the basics, but the fact that we've now got these lovely essentials, oh, they're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Watch this space. We're very excited to um, have the connections with Orifil that we do. Super duper proud of them. This is the great thing about Sewing Street is that we don't get me wrong. I will always tell you, do you know what? It's up to you, it's personal preference. There are these brands, there's this brand, there's this kind of rotor cutter, there's this kind of marking tool or this one, and it's up to you to make your decision. Whereas when we are that confident in a brand that we want to put our name to it, I mean, it just shows, doesn't it, how um, passionate our team are about them. So I can't recommend them enough. Right, shall we go straight to the book? Those of you that may be, um, during lockdown, starting a new hobby or starting a new skill, or maybe you're, uh, start, you're a dressmaker and you want to start quilting. I know that we've been talking a lot about quilting over the last couple of weeks. Remember, we are going to be venturing out into to more uh, demonstrations when it comes to dressmaking and bag making, toy making, hand stitching, all sorts, especially when we can get demonstrators here in the, uh, in the studio, which is exciting. But we have been talking about a lot about quilting, and I think it's brilliant for anybody who has been thinking about it and now wants to, you know, learn the techniques, learn the basics, and learn uh, sort of some new sort of hobbies and skills. Or maybe you are a quilter already, and during lockdown, you've almost got a bit of writing block, and you're thinking, right, I don't know what to do now. I don't know what quilt design to do or I want to try something different with quilting. This book is brand new and it's absolutely brilliant. For one, the price is, I thought, uh, okay, hang on. This is 19.99 on here. It's 15.99 today with us. It's brand new. And I mean, it is a really hefty book. You've got so much in here. You've got a hundred patchwork blocks in here. You've got loads of applique techniques. You've got amazing quilting uh, things. And also you've got, I think, 15 complete patterns. Bearing in mind, you can pay 10 pounds for a pattern, can't you? You've got uh, big quilts, cot quilts, lap quilts, quilted bags quilted cushions. It talks to you about, what I love about this book is that actually it's, uh, even though the projects in themselves for £15.99 is brilliant, it's very, very thorough with lovely getting started tips and techniques. So it talks you through different ways of marking, not just talking about a marking tool, gives you lots of different ways of marking your fabric, measuring and cutting, designing, sewing tools, pressing tools, and going through it all. For those of you that are brilliant, uh, those of you that are, uh, are fantastic quilters, I think this is going to be a really great reference point to go back to. But those of you that are complete beginners, um, it's a really big, knowledgeable sort of like your encyclopedia of all things quilting. If you know anybody that's starting, maybe as a gift for somebody, this is brilliant. Talking about sort of breaking down different waddings, I really wanted, I was talking about this the other day, doing a show talking about wadding is personal preference. So they actually talk about it. Cotton, this is a finer, heavier and warmer and it goes through exactly why you would need it and the difference between them. I'll remember that actually. When I come to waddings later on, remind me of that. Working with different fabrics and different colours. Right, I'm going to flick through quite quickly because we've got loads that I want to show you. But... It is fantastic to go through working with templates, enlarging, working with different uh, stencils, marking with working with rulers, using different technology. Uh, and then it goes into patchwork applique and quilting. So this is your patchwork section, different types of quilts, different types of patchwork. As I say, a hundred different blocks. So you can make your own sampler quilts, you can make your own scrappy quilts. There's sampler quilts, hand piecing, English paper piecing, machine piecing, there's foundation paper piecing. There are so many very traditional log cabin, traditional blocks, 
and also some lovely contemporary ones. Um, uh, Sem uh, Semile, uh, how do I pronounce that? I can't remember. Remember Victoria Car Seminole, that's it. Seminole, Victoria Carrington did it and it looks beautiful Seminole quilting right at the start. Of course, our John, you know, he absolutely loves Bargello, string patchwork with triangles, lots of beautiful uh, demonstrations and really well sort of broken down as well. So all throughout, you've got lots of blocks, techniques, foundation paper piecing, crazy patchwork, bags. I love using different embellishments like rip racks and different creative stitching between all puffed patchwork. Love that. I absolutely love that. Adding texture, especially for, um, for cot quilts and things. You could put different uh, sounds in, you know, like or not like crisp packets, but do you know what I mean? Like those roughly sounds or ones that go <laughs> horns. <laughs> The rustly sort of fabrics you can get. Different bags, look at all these beautiful different fabric effects that you can do. See, so it really does dive deeper into quilting, but also it's not too scary for beginners. You can pick something you want to do and it, it will break it down as though you're a beginner, but also as uh, intermediate or advanced quilters. Even John, who's been quilting for years and years and years, I know he says he's still sort of avoids doing any curved piecing. There's a huge section on curved piecing here. Look at these beautiful applique edges. Never seen anything like that. Hawaiian applique. Reverse applique. It's one of those actually, do you know what, that also would be a really lovely coffee table book. Sitting on a Sunday, having a bit of a flick through and a read through and thinking, right, what shall I have a go at? And then I am going to pick something. I do this often with recipe books as well. Look through and I'm like, oh, fancy that, fancy that, fancy that. And then I'm like, right, okay. I'm just going to focus just on that. It's one of those that don't get overwhelmed by all these different techniques. It's something that you might spend the whole year working through. It's not something you need to just conquer in a weekend. Look, hand stitching. Sash go. Yeah, I'd go through one of these with one of those little um, post-it notes and mark out which you want to have a go at. Free motion quilting. So it really does. Corded quilting, trapunto, decorative quilting. And then talking about finishing off as well, which is brilliant, finishing your quilting, which a lot of people I know are finishing quilts at the moment, maybe f unfinished objects, <laughs> uh, UFOs, unfinished projects that you might have had in the cupboard for the last few, um, the last few years even. I've seen people finishing them off. Um, and useful information, having a look what size quilts, king size, queen size, double quilts, binding, what sort of binding you're gonna need. A number of squares from fat quarters, it's amazing, isn't it? Templates in the back there as well. Lots of useful inf information. It's brand new today, supposed to be 19.99. Today, as a brand new book, it's just 15.99. Written by Linda Clements, MBE uh, Linda Clements as well. She's fantastic and an, an absolute wealth of knowledge when it comes to all things quilting. Brand new. Good luck, good luck, Edward, and everybody who's already got it. I think a lot of people who've got the Osnaberg has actually teamed up with the uh, with the book. Enjoy that. The Osnaberg, by the way, three left. Three units left, that's it. Um, there's way more than three of you that have got it in your basket. Just urging you to check out on that one as it's about to sell out. I predicted it would sell out by half past eight with the quantity that we had. It's not even going to make that. You want it? Early bird special. Last time you're going to see it, £6.50 for a metre and a half of beautiful natural seeded cotton Osnaberg. Message in today. We want to have your input. If there's any of your kits that you've made up, we want to see them. Not only can you message in to my producer Kat today, you can also send in your photographs at studio at sewingstreet.com. Kat welcomes photographs. And like our Hannah, Hannah gets, um, yeah. I'm only joking. Uh, so, have you taken a photograph off the um, the fan page? Oh, Jeanette, Jeanette, Jeanette. I'm so pleased you got this box. Um, so, this is the thread organiser box. It was from Jeanette. She said, hang on, let me see. It, it took me some time, but now I love how organised my floss box is. And so happy with the quality of the 100 skein floss pack I ordered from Sewing Street. Sorry, I'm listening to Joe because I can't see the, the... And how handy is the floss box? 
So now you've got 110 skeins in there. Love it. That's from Jeanette. Thank you so much, Jeanette. Should we do it now? So, um, this is brilliant value for money. Those of you that are crafters, as I suppose you're watching Sewing Street, I'm presuming you're a crafter. Um, everybody loves storage. Everybody loves storage. I work as part of our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, as well. And um, they love storage as much as we do. Love storage. Oh, no, Joe, wrecking the joint. He's dropped the clock. Yes. He's scared that he might have broken the clock. Oh, batteries are out and everything. Uh-oh, sorry. Sorry, Joe. Um, so, a large, gorgeous embroidery floss box. And as you just saw, how satisfying to get all of your embroidery floss, all of your skeins nice and organized. There's so many different compartments. And it also comes with 10 DMC quality embroidery flosses. They are beautiful. It will come in a, an assortment of different colors, but you're definitely going to get 10 of your DMC skeins. And look, you get all of these nice little cards to wrap a hundred of, um, of your skeins. So we start you off with 10, but have a look on the website because I wonder if any of those hundred skeins that, oh, I'm going to struggle to get these out. Um, oops. That's, I knew I'd do that. Um, so you have all of these little cards to wrap your skeins around. Keep the little bits of paper as well and put them in with each um, in with each one so you know what colour they are, so you know what number it is. Have a look on the web shop though because I think there's 100 skeins for 14 99 if I'm not mistaken. They're not DMC, they're a different brand, but if you do want to make the most of it, they're fantastic quality. Look at the clock, Joe. <laughs> you can get 36. The um, 9.99. We haven't got the hundred anymore. I think the hundreds are sold out. But these boxes are brilliant at nine pounds ninety-nine, aren't they? You can see how well Jeanette used hers and how um, great this is for storage. The clock is going round at a million miles an hour now. It's so funny. Um, so enough to fit a hundred of um, of your of your skeins. Those of you that want to get a bit organised. I started, did everybody else sort of during the first weeks of lockdown organise all of their cupboards, all of their stash? Honestly, I, Kat said, I remember the first video call that we had during lockdown and I was showing off, can I just show you my bathroom cupboard? Can I show you how organised it is? I don't want to show it to you now because it's just gone back to chaos again. So upset. I watched all, you know when you wash all of your makeup brushes and do all of that sort of thing and now it's like, oh, it needs all doing again now. Dear me. Joe, you been to Ikea? How long did you queue for? 15 minutes. 15 minutes? I saw on the news that people were queuing for like three hours, like a concert to go around Ikea. I mean, I like Ikea, but I won't queue for three hours. 15 minutes, that's not bad. So did you have a chest of drawers, Cat? And you stayed up till midnight building it. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I lose my patience with that. Just £9.99. It is a satisfying feeling, though, when you get all organised. Imagine, next time you open your skein box and it looks like this, all of these beautiful different shades, like a rainbow of colour. But I think those of you that have just got it in maybe a drawer or in a bag and you're sifting through and you're thinking, right, I've run out of this colour. And actually you haven't, it's just at the bottom. And the amount of money that in the long run that you actually save, I think, by, um, by uh, having them organised so you can see what you've got. It's lovely that it comes with all these beautiful quality DMC skeins as well. They are stunning quality. Right, let's do uh, all the fabric because we've got loads of fabric around us on the desk. Where should we start, Kat? Canning days? Right, let's start with canning days because this is the perfect spring, summer. When is it When is it summer? Have we gone into summer yet? 1st of June, I think, was the official start of summer. The 1st of June was when the rain came, wasn't it? Um, I think we've got the longest day approaching soon, haven't we? 21st. Although I woke up before my alarm this morning, about 4am. I did go back to sleep. But I woke up really, really early and it was so light. The birds were chirping. Crazy, isn't it, how light it is that early? Right, so this is beautiful mode of quality, quilting weight cotton. And look at all of these lovely colours, the corals from the Canning Days range. We had the layer cake, didn't we? And we had the, and the jelly roll, and they both sold out. 
The, um, so then we said, right, we've got to try and get these half metres in. I think this is the only way. I don't know whether we've got them individually on the website, but it's definitely worth making the most of this beautiful mega bundle as Moda so very good at complementing fabrics, whether it be with colours, scales of print. They've done all the hard work for you. So if you are thinking of making a beautiful quilt from maybe your, your new book, this would be absolutely beautiful for that. Uh, 66 pounds and 99 pence. Sorry, my um, jumper's falling down. I think this jumper's supposed to be like more of like a slouchy one, but I don't like it. I'm just gonna, um, I'm not, I don't want my shoulder out. Although I am, um, yeah, I have been tanning my shoulders over the last few weeks. Not with real tan, with the sunshine, it's been so nice. 66.99 and they are absolutely beautiful. Now let me show you what half a metre looks like because you get four and a half metres here. So they're all half metre pre-cuts. They all look like that. The minty green mixes so well with like the greys and the corals and the reds, the pinks. I'd, I'm, I've always say this, I'm, I think it's a skill in itself. I'm so bad at putting colours together. I'm a bit of a creature of habit. So I love the fact that when we do bundles like this, the experts have done it for you. The hard work's been done and you know that they're going to work. You know they'll complement. And in fact, they won't just complement, they'll look spectacular, especially from Moda. Moda, are, um, I mean, they sort of put pre-cuts on the map, didn't they? They were so famous for putting together, doing all their lovely... Um, uh, pre-cuts but having half a meter will go a long way even if you're teaming it up with I mean there's so many that I could actually look with our complementing bundles whether you go in with the greens and the blues to go with some of those or whether you're going with some of the pinks will come to those but it means that your designer fabric will go even further I mean there's a lot of fabric here but if you want to use it sort of sparingly maybe do some fussy cutting or smaller patchwork piecing Add it with solids because it's such an affordable way to get a lot for your money. $66.99. I know it, again, is an investment, but it will go an awful long way. It will. Oh, no, the sticker's come from somewhere. I'm presuming it's from the one that I've just lifted up. <gasps> £66.99. Okay. What's that, sorry? Did you see that you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? nine half meters four and a half meters in total okay uh should we do one of the complimentary bundles i'm going to keep this sort of in the background um and have a look at these lovely greens straight away when you're pulling on any of these well all of them in fact actually even like the yellows they're all going to work so so well with this and it's just is going to go the extra mile so you're getting half a meter of your lovely minty green, half a metre of your foresty green, emerald that one's called. This one is Sartreuse and Jade, which is like a lovely turquoisey blue, it's so nice. Um, see, it once the fabric shops and haberdashery, I love going to my local haberdashery in fabric shop, I think it's really of course great to support them and go in as well, they run lots of workshops often, so those of you that are um, new to us as a community. It's definitely worth speaking to everyone on the fan page or having a bit of a search locally to you at local groups, workshops and things that go on. Um, but when you do go into the shops, obviously because of their space, they, they might not have this many shades of green. They might have a green or a couple of different um, shades of green. Here, they complement beautifully. They'd, they'd make a lovely contemporary quilt just with, you know, big blocks, big block colours. Mixing them in maybe with uh, a little bit of your Canning Days or with your uh, Lewis and Irene's are really nice as well. That would look beautiful with this. I do like the tulips. Mixing it in again with um, your May Morris, some of the May Morris prints that we've had. Those greens are gorgeous. See, this is the great thing about having a stash like this is you can say, right, actually, which green am I going to put this with and having a bit of a play. If you're at home thinking, does that bundle go with that bundle, message in and I'll, I'll, I'll literally physically have a bit of a play around for you and see which colours there are. The great thing about this show is that it's completely interactive, especially now we've got our email. It's amazing. You can speak to my producer, Kat, who's up in the gallery. We can have a bit of a, a, a play around and a work around with fabric. So it's interactive. Get in touch with us. 
especially during this sort of time, I think it's really important we all keep in contact, stay in touch, message in, even if you're not buying with us today, come say hello, come message. Um, yeah, let me know what you're up to this week. It's just going to be rainy, isn't it? I've planned lots of lovely walks this week and it's... I know, I've been loving my walk. I've really got into my walking over the last couple of months, so I really want to go on a nice walk today. £12.99. I even ordered two raincoats. I'm going to send them back, though, because um, they had that really, really funny lining. The one was like this gold metallic lining. But no, it sounds quite jazzy, but it's actually not for me. What are you doing, Joe? What are you getting? Your pencil case? Charger. Charger. £12.99. Don't you worry. Should we do the uh, the tulip fabrics because we love those? Now, is this a bundle, cat? It's a bundle. Two meters. So you get your little mouses in the houses. Mouse, uh, little mice in the tulip. Oh gosh, do you know, I had that song in my head all day. Um, the, ah, um, oh, how's it going? Actually, I don't want to ask you. Don't tell me how it goes because it's going to be stuck. Where, there, there on the stair, right there, that one. Because we were talking about there, the mouse on the stair. David Barry sang it, didn't he? What was it called? We had somebody message in telling us what it was called. Um, and I love the background of this, the lovely little um, sort of spot on the background and the little sleeping mouse. Only four of these bundles available, by the way. Only four. The lovely vines, they look gorgeous, the colours. You're getting half a metre of your tulips as well. Beautiful detail, beautiful detail. And then half a metre. Let me open this out because half a metre of this goes such a long way, whether you're fussy cutting. Um, I love the different shapes. Can you see this almost in squares, like diagonals, squares? You can see the sort of cross hatch, can't you? Uh, £26.99, and that's for all four of your half metres. I love the little windmills. What's the song called? Wind windmills of... A windmill in old Amsterdam is the song. There you go. Perfect. There, there, there on the stair. It's David Bowie. It's going to go with so many of your core fabrics as well. A lot of the uh, the pinks, it'll go a lot with the solids, uh, the greens, the blues even. You could pull on some of those corals. You could pull on the yellow. There's loads of different options with this one. Oh, do you know what? My instinct went towards these then. What do you think? Or, I don't know if I'm in the right place, Joe. Yeah, nearly. Those colours, the greens that we just saw, the pinks, they look nice. Even the blues, because you've got a lot of blue in there. It changes the look completely, doesn't it, when you put it with... Um... <laughs> look at me trying... Oh! Trying to angle it in the most awkward position. Sorry about that. That wasn't, um... that wasn't glamorous. Do you know what we need? You know that hand thing? The hand um, mannequin. That's what we need, and we can just drape it. It might look a bit weird, yeah, but we have got one of those somewhere, haven't we? Or what other, what other things could we use, Jo? Sloping, sloping table, yeah, good idea, good idea. Sorry, we're just recreating our set <laughs> during the show. Um, £26.99, I'll have you now, Kat. But I bet they were your ideas to start with, though, weren't they, Kat? Half a metre. Of all of your beautiful Lewis and Irene designer fabrics, $26.99. Um, right, remember that is extremely limited now. Let's do beautiful blues. Your navy blue. I bet you know all the colours off by heart, don't you, Kat? More or less. I'm guessing that's navy, copen, candy and sky, aqua. Ah, oh. sky, cadet blue, candy, and navy. Very close. £12.99. Half a metre. <laughs> Half a metre of each. 
Um, was this with your with your Liam? Um, Kat spent half an hour on the phone with her boyfriend trying to work out how it is the correct way of saying turquoise. You don't say weird, you say it differently to me. Turquoise. <sighs> £12.99. Blues are always going to be popular whenever we have a blue bundle. It's always going to be very, very popular whenever we do it, whether it be as an early bird, whether we do it in kits, whether we do it... Blue is like the, the world's sort of favourite colour, isn't it? Oh, in fact, of course, it's, it's Pantone's colour of the year, classic blue. Joe, big statement, it is the world's favourite colour. That's a big statement, Joe. You saying yeah? <laughs> Kat was just asking Siri because Siri knows all. Um, is your Siri got an Irish accent? Yeah, that's so cool. Mine doesn't. £12.99, half metres. It's four half metres. That's two metres in total of lovely blue. Um, right, let's go on to our lovely May Morris. Moda May Morris. Is this this colourway? Oh, in fact, you know what? It's the only May Morris that we've got. It's the only May Morris. I am a huge, huge advocate of this collection. Love it, love it, love it. I'd go as far as saying it's my favourite Moda collection ever. Um, those of you that know this fabric and think of it as Morris & Co and therefore think of it as uh, William Morris, Oh, no, 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 no. This is designed by May Morris, who's William Morris's daughter. She was an incredible artist, an amazing teacher, lecturer, embroiderer, and she was a complete sort of, um, well, she was a, an icon in the world, in the movement, the arts and crafts movement. There were so many incredible embroidery pieces that were, which were made by May Morris. And... She's always sort of been overshadowed by her father's work. Of course, she's always going to be when it's, she's William Morris's daughter. But by the age of, I think, 24, she ran the Department of Embroidery in Morris & Co. I mean, she's absolutely incredible. If ever you get the chance of going to the v &A Museum in London, um, then have a look because there's so much of her work there. And it's completely changed the way that I look at Morris & Co fabric now. And I, I just love my Morris. I've Googled so much about her. And I recommend anybody who buys this collection to do a bit of research into her. This one, I believe, is called Honeysuckle. And um, there was uh, a, an amazing embroidery piece that was... Um, that was based on that. This one as well was one that was a wallpaper designed by May Morris. It's absolutely beautiful. And Moda have teamed up with the v to be able to put this collection together. It's absolutely beautiful quality. You're getting all of these incredible prints and it's £58.99, my favourite collection from Moda. Whether you're choosing to put this as cushions, whether you're quilting with it, home furnishings, even little gift bags, how much you pay for um, quality Morris & Co uh, little... Um, I'm thinking like even like little drawstring bags or little makeup bags or purses. You can pay a fortune. This is Moda May Morris beautiful fabric. I absolutely love it. And it's the only colourway I believe that we've got left now. And right, I'm one to never sort of say never in the fabric world. We will always try and reorder what we can. This has been the most popular collection of Moda that we've bought. So we have bought it back. We have been told that we're not getting it again. That is it now. We can't get any more. If we, if we could, we would. Um, the great thing is, is we're always trying to get you new collections in, so you have a, a great variety. But for anybody who's been umming and ahhing about this over the last couple of weeks or the last months since we launched it, I can't recommend this enough. We've got five bundles left. Five bundles left will sell today. Um, it's a matter of who gets them. It's a matter of who gets there first. They're all absolutely beautiful. Are there any available by the half metre on the website, do you know? I wonder if any of these are available on the website. So that if you do want more of a particular print, it might be worth having a bit of a scan. Just type in uh, Moda May Morris onto the website and it should come up if, if there are any by the half metre. £58.99 for your mega bundle is fantastic value for money. I think it makes it about eight pounds a half meter. There are some by the half meter, brilliant. Have a look on the website. If you, if you get the bundle and you're thinking, right, I just love 
another half meter of, of, of one of them. Make the most of it because this is the only bundle that we now have. Only bundle we now have. I love it. Of all of these beautiful ebony colorways. Okay. Now, I think the one that complements this the best is, oops, is this one, which is very, very dramatic indeed. Just using it with, um, I think this is designed to go with this one as well. Let me show you. It's called, it's called the Dragon Complementary Bundle. So it will go really lovely with the um, with these beautiful uh, oriental fabrics. But also with some of your May Morris, I think it would look really nice as well. Having that dramatic black background with some of these would look beautiful. Pull out some of the reds as well, just small amounts of them. Uh, so in here, I don't want to put the Mo Morris away. I love it. Can you tell? Can you tell? Half a metre of your black, half a metre of white, and half a metre of like crimson. If you're maybe starting some of your Christmas makes. <gasps> I saw on Facebook it's about how many weekends is it now until Christmas? It's something stupid like, I don't know whether it's 20, that's it. 20 weekends, that's it until Christmas. Oh my word. <gasps> it's a good time though, isn't it, for us to get all of our makes done relax and when it comes to november december the the satisfying feeling we'll have when we're like right actually do you know what i'm not going to be buying wrapping paper this year i'm going to be you know thinking about the environment and and doing something more sustainable and reusable and making myself little gift bags is it lovely how many weeks um no there's less than that 28 28 weekends to christmas Siri so didn't know that blue is the favourite colour of the, the world either. <laughs> right, so right now, Joe, my director, is having an argument with Siri. How many weekends until Christmas? Does anybody else get in an argument? Oh, I saw this hilarious video of this little girl on um, Facebook who was having a full argument with Siri, with um, Alexa or, you know, a, a tablet. It was so funny. Oh, I haven't seen that. The little girl who's saying she has to, she has to eat mummy's dinner and not, she can't have KFC. <laughs> oh gosh, are the queues still really bad for all of those? Um... Really? Really? Kat's been to McDonald's, she says there was only three people in front of her. Gosh, I still heard there was queues and queues and queues. Um, anyway, we digress, we digress. 10 pounds, 47, half a metre of each of your dragon complimentary. But of course, remember, you can use this for all sorts. It's just going to be a great sort of stash builder, isn't it? Shall we do... Let's do the dragons because it it is designed to go with. Right, let's do these individually. Um, if you do want them all, then you'll have to buy them by the half metre. They're all individual fabrics this time. These are gorgeous. Okay. Oh, is this what Laura was telling me about, actually? I think these launched um, a few days ago with John and Laura, and Laura said they absolutely flew out. We're lucky to be able to see any of these. Now, they're the poplin weight, which is a slightly lighter weight cotton. Don't get me wrong, you can still use it with your Dragon complementary bundle. You can still use it with any of your quilting weights. It, just be aware it'll feel slightly differently when it feels slightly different when you're quilting. But also, the great chance about having this by the half meter is that it gives you uh, room for thinking about maybe table decorations or what about a kimono? There's so many really great sort of dressing gown free patterns online. You can find them on YouTube, and this would be beautiful as a kimono, wouldn't it? And if you're doing a first dressmaking project, it's quite a nice project to do because, one, you tend to just wear your dressing gown at home, don't you? And it doesn't need to have all of the different fittings and everything. It's a really nice project to do as a gift for somebody as well. So that's £4.99, very affordable, and it's got that gorgeous gold dragon running through, can you see? And it's not like a metallic -y gold. It's quite a subtle gold, actually. I like that a lot. They'd be really nice. Right, they sold very, very quickly, so be warned. The white, white and gold, this one you can really see the print. This would be nice to do a bit of free motion, following some of the lines, actually. Having a bit of a practice. Or just embellishing with some of your lovely skeins that you've got. 
This is gold dragons on ivory. Table runner, little napkins, napkin holders. Four pounds, 99 and a half meter. What was that in your household you used to do themed, food themed nights? Okay. So would you, and so would you also um, like decorate the, the table with all the things? Oh, that's cool. Four pounds, 99, half meter. Oh. Oh no. The Wilcoxes, honestly, you could make like a sitcom about them. They're literally like the Von Trapp family. They're all very musical. They're all very intelligent and good looking and lovely. Four pounds, 99. Can you tell that I want to be in your family? I kind of, I have kind of sort of shimmied my way into their family. I honestly just want to be in the family. I love them. <laughs> so these are your rose and hubble, uh, poplin weights, remember. Uh, the next one is your parasols. Can you see me thinking about orders then making sure they went back? I've got I've got Joe and Kat here to tell me off. Oh Joe, which one, sorry? The red? Did you show the wrong graphics? Oh. That's the dragon. Gold dragon was $4.99. It's the same price if you want to swap it over. Um, and then the one that you did see was, I believe, the, the graphics of this one, which is the parasol. Gold parasols on red. £4.99 and a half metre. Love how the flowers, they really stand out on this one, don't they? Those are almost like blossom. That'd be really lovely for, uh, for, for soft furnishing as well. Garden things, very nice. Whenever we have the Rose and Hubble fabrics, they're always very popular because look at how affordable it is to be able to have that pattern fabric, £4.99 and a half metre. Your gold parasols. Yeah, I do like gold parasols. Did you call it gold parasols? I've got the uh, black and gold. One of my favourite colour combinations. Oh, dressmakers. This is make a lovely shirt or, or, or sort of dress, actually, or a skirt. Because it's a lighter weight, it's got a really nice drape. Sorry, I was just trying to show you the drape <laughs> as I was shaking it around. Your gold parasols for £4.99. Okay, so Kat, who is our in-house costume designer, she's saying, right, I'd have this one and I'd also have the ivory. The ivory would go in the cuffs, inside the collar, probably inside the, the buttonholes as well on the inside of the shirt. Oh, nice. Yeah, good idea. We'll do that one next. £4.99. What about for um, linings of bags? I do like a jazzy lining, whether it be on the inside of a, a jacket, like a fancy jacket. You know, sometimes uh, when you see like lovely tweed jackets that then have a jazzy lining or a, a lovely lining inside a purse or inside a bag, I think it adds, adds sort of, um, I think it adds more designer feel to it, doesn't it? What about a waistcoat? That'd be a beautiful back of a waistcoat, actually. Okay, how about the white then? Let's do the ivory, the golden ivory parasols. It'd be nice for little wedding makes, actually. It's that lovely golden ivory, very soft indeed. £4.99, it's all about the price as well. You can thank Kat for that one. She's named them and she's also put the prices in. Gosh, that's so good. In fact, no, blame Paul. <laughs> Passing the blame over. That's really good, isn't it? Or well, thank Paul, we should say. What a brilliant price. Four pounds ninety and a half meter for quality Rose and Hubble poplin weight cotton. And your chance, remember, to buy by the half a meter. Uh, so it's gonna be cut off the bolt to you. And whatever size you want. So dressmakers, great time to go for it. I'm thinking like a nice little pair of um, lounging trousers. Let's do the black swan fabric bundle. Oh, this has been extremely popular, hasn't it? 
every time we've done this, it's been very, very popular. Oh, okay, we've only got five left. It's literally down to the last five now. You're getting your corally, beautiful peachy leaves, and it has got a metallic gold stem. Can you see? It's very, very nice. Half a metre. Half a metre of your lovely blossoms. Imagine putting these with your parasols, maybe, your ivory and gold parasols. I love the blossoms even would go really nicely with some of your, uh, with your lovely uh, metallics, with, with your golds as well, the golden ivory parasols. And then one of my favourites, oh, I went and um, saw the swans the other day and they had little baby swans. They're so gorgeous. Have you seen baby swans before? They're so fluffy. They're just gorgeous. But the swans were very, very, very protective of their babies. They're like... I was like, oh, not going near. Literally, that is the noise they make. Stratford. <sighs> I was like, oh, I'm not going near, I'm not going near. Don't you worry. I was just trying to look at the little swan. They were so cute. What are they called? What are baby swans called? And I love, look at the leaves. Are they signets? Signets, that's it. Oh. Oh, that was the, the last show that Kat worked on was um, the... This one lake. Is that Tchaikovsky? That's the song, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Jane, because Kat's not sure. Even though you probably heard it every night. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm not doing the dance in <laughs> vision. I'm so bad, honestly. I used to do um, ballet though when I was, well, I say little. I decided I wanted to start it when I was about 12 years old, but because I was a beginner, I was in with like the four year olds. So there was all the little ones who were doing it all of their like, you know, ballet things when they were little. And I was like quite a big 12 year old as well. I stopped growing at 12. So I always remember thinking, oh, I feel really silly. But yeah, I remember doing this one like 27, 96. I'm too heavy footed. I was better at tap. I get through shoes so quickly. I was definitely not designed to be a ballet dancer. <laughs> But they did say that it was like the basics of all dancing. You should try and do some ballet. It's good for you. Good for your posture. Let's try and do, okay, the other two modas, which are the three sisters. Right, where are they? Got them. <laughs> Thank you. Three of the um, the May Morris Ebony, by the way, three left of the May Morris Ebony. That will sell out today. If you want either of your other Moda fabrics, these are the Three Sisters range. We've got the navy and we've got, yeah, let's do indigo first. So we've got that and then we've also got the, the greys and silvers. These are lovely because in the background, you can't quite see, but it's actually slightly mottled. It's a really lovely soft, like a midnight sky blue. It's beautiful. Uh, very sort of traditional colourways. You still thinking Christmas with these? It's quite warm, isn't it? It's quite a sort of, I think this is great for all year round, actually. But yeah, I know what you mean. Um, your lovely deep indigos. Look at that. It's very rich, isn't it? Very beautiful, lovely and regal. I would, again, team this with your blue uh, solids that we saw earlier on. If you want to put it with quite your dramatic, like, crimsons as well. That'd look really nice. But that blue fabric is one of my favourites. Plus, then, you're getting... I like the trellis one as well. See, that lightens it up, changes the look completely. This is the great thing about Moda, as I say, putting these different colours together and different scales of print just adds that different texture. And I don't mean texture to sort of the touch. I mean texture to the eye, which is a strange thing to sort of think about. But as you go along your quilting journey, then these are all different things that you'll learn in the book or you'll learn along the way of having different scales of print creates interest to the eye. So, I mean, having these different scales of print, it does add that texture. This one is a really beautiful fabric because it's got, oh gosh, that's got two labels on, I'm getting ever so confused. Oh no. Oh, look at it. This, by the way, item code is sexy10. <laughs> Just £28.99, that is the item code. 
Is that to do with you, Paul? Or you, Paul? You, a uh, cat, or is it Paul? Okay. Silver. This is all. This is me all over. I um, love my greys, silvers, home decor. This is me. Guest bedroom. Oh, I just love that. Very next at home. Absolutely. Um, you would get half a meter of lemon and half a meter of ivory to go with this. There you go. She's spoken. Our uh, in-house costume designer, soft furniture has spoken. Kat, I bet you'll want to do this with me, actually. I've shown interest by signing up to the newsletter to do a pottery class, pottery course, like a term when lockdown's over. I think we've all been thinking about different things that we'd love to do that we're like, do you know what? I've always wanted to do that and uh, I'm going to have a go. There's, there's this pot that I absolutely love and it's £350. So I was like, right, I'm going to make one myself. I'm going to find out how to do it and I'm going to go on a, I'm going to go on a pottery course. That's it. Like, this is why a lot of people get into dressmaking, those people get into quilting or bag making is because they've seen a handbag they love and they're like, right, I'm not paying that. I'm going to make it myself. Um, and yeah, I've got that now with um, pottery. I've watched that programme that it's like the sewing bee, but with um, pottery. Great British pottery, is that what it's called? Did Liam work on it? Eighteen pounds ninety nine. Half a meter of each of these. Your menoirs, silver and stone, absolutely my colourway all over. But don't get me wrong. If you you know you're brave enough and want to add a splash of colour, you could go with anything. You will, these are your neutrals, aren't they? Really, they're going to go with all sorts that's already in your stash. Just twenty eight pounds ninety nine pounds. That's two meters of fabric. Uh, we've got poplin spots. Our rose and hubble. Rose and Hubble in coral, in navy, in purple, yellow and pink. All of those lovely, or sh uh, no, no, Cerise. Oh, they're lovely. They really are. And I just as I say, adding them in as, um, I don't like to call them blenders because they're really nice as they are. But, but mixing these in with some of your designer fabrics, it's going to make it go that extra mile. Eighteen pounds ninety nine for all. What do we for five of your half meters? Now it again is that lighter poplin weight is so so very soft. I think these would be beautiful for little purses or if you do want to use it as a bag, you absolutely still can. I just use um, a lightweight interfacing or a, you know a, maybe the fusible fleece, the H six forty, any sort of interfacing would be perfect. Um, but it is beautiful. The colors are really really nice. Whether you're choosing to use these together, they all work really well, but also if you want to add, um, you know, with your solid pinks, or one of those, um, if you want it to go with your Canning Days range and you're just going to use the, the pink and the, the, the yellow, you don't need to use them all together. They can just be great stash builders. Nice colours in there and that midnight blue is beautiful. £18.99 for all five of those half metres. Uh, so, brand new book that we launched today, uh, already proving very, very popular. I think it's because of the price. You know, this is supposed to be $19.99 on the back today, $15.99. Now, it says not only does it have uh, 200, over 220, uh, the ultimate quilter's companion to over 220 patchwork quilting and applique techniques, you've got 13 full quilt instructions. Bearing in mind, you can pay, what, £10 a pattern? and more uh, normally. So this is brilliant value just for that. But then you also have 800 colored diagrams, beautiful for photography and also endless inspiration from scrap quilts, FPP, EPP. I know that we uh, have been doing a lot of sewing during lockdown, a lot of people making all sorts of things. And maybe you're just getting a bit of writer's block, if you will, like you just want to try something different. If you've, oh, I like that. If you've lost your SOMO, like your mojo, but your SOMO, 
That's cool. I've never heard that one before. Um, it also doesn't just have quilts. It's got bags and cushions, quilted bags and quilted cushions and different techniques, different ways of using bo different borders like this, mermaids. Look at her. And these are all lovely as well. Different effects of using a, a, for, for applique, different templates you can use. Tote bags, how to incorporate applique onto or reverse applique onto your project. Shadow applique I've not heard of. And then it's also got a section on quilting. So um, I know that I've already spoken about this, but it, those of you that missed the start of the show, it is brand new today. It's an absolute wealth of knowledge, as you can see. It's a hefty book, it really is. You've got loads of great tips and techniques in there for just £15.99. Maybe it's a gift for somebody who's starting out quilting. Really nice. Uh, okay. Whatever you do, do not go anywhere. Get all of your photographs in. If you've made any of our kits, we want to see them. It's studio at sewingstreet.com. Do get them in as we are going to do a bit of a quilt, uh, a kit show roundup coming up right after this. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved and it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. 
And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Right, so, um, every, well, when we first started Sewing Street, I'll start right at the beginning, when we started the show back in February, on Valentine's Day, February the 14th, when we launched the show, we had, of course, huge plans for the, the, the coming months of being able to do so many kits, guest designers coming in and doing uh, demonstrations right from the word go. And then obviously the craziness in the world started. But we have started, of course, as you've been seeing, uh, for our, our, our guest designers to be able to do videos from home or come into the studio when we're not here and, and doing um, and doing some filming. So it's, it's, it's getting there. Um, and hopefully, I can't wait to the days of where we can, uh, of course, do on live on show demonstrations, answer your questions. Um, yeah, it's going to be so nice for me to be able to talk to somebody here. Um, so, what we've done anyway is we're doing everything in our power to put together as many kits as we can and get demonstrations out to you in the best and the safest way possible. Uh, so, when we can, it's a really exciting show when we have a kit launch. It's really exciting when we get a, a demonstration as well. What we've done is we've compiled like the best of the best into one hour. Now, of course, normally we talk about one kit for one hour. So this is gonna be a real sort of pit stop and what I am gonna urge you to do is use the, 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 the YouTube option, the YouTube. Go onto YouTube and watch back the shows if you can, if you get any of the kits and sew along at home. Uh, and I'll let you know the date, but please do message in if you've got any questions about kits and I'll try and answer them if I can. If I can't, straight away I'll get back to you. But also, um, I was going to ask, please will you send in your photographs? If you have made any of the kits from Sewing Street, if you haven't finished it, send your pictures in. We want to hear from you today. We want to make the show as interactive as possible. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Have you um, opened it and logged in and everything, Kat? She's ready and waiting for your emails. Send them in. It's studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Want to hear from you. We want to see your projects. Um, even as I say, if they're not finished, don't be shy. Send in your photographs. Also, uh, yeah, Kat said, you know how exciting it is when you get the parcel? Send picture of, uh, of you know, your parcel, happy face, smiley selfie if you're getting all of your exciting goodies. That's why we're excited about the show. This is why we're here, is to make sure everybody's, you know, all kitted out during this hard time. We're all kitted out and able to sew. Right, where should we start then? Because we've got loads of kits. Now, the attic window quilts have just been amazing. Should we start with this one? Uh, now this is the only attic window quilt I think that we've got left in stock actually and it was launched for our John's birthday favourite animal giraffe in fact um, Kat and John truly have bonded over their favourite animal being giraffes um, and I just love them I love how realistic that is it looks like a photograph doesn't it it's so incredible uh, John was saying you can literally look out the window in South Africa and see giraffes just having their breakfast how amazing. Right, so, oh, in fact, we do have the other option on the website, I believe, but today on the show, we only have this. If you search attic window on the website, um, then it will come up this one and it'll come up with the other two options. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, so, this is the only giraffe option though, isn't it? Uh, and you get your instructions. You can watch back the show on John's birthday, which was the 30th of May. It was a brilliant five hour special. And this one, do you know what hour this one was on? Just, if you just scan through on the, on the YouTube video, then you'll be able to find it. It comes with, So when you're on YouTube, it'll come up on the description what time it was on, what hour it was on. Uh, look at it. Is, is it digitally printed? It's very clear. Look at that. 
Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It was the last hour. It was the 12 o'clock hour during John's birthday and we had the lovely uh, Wendy Orlando demoing it for us. So if you do want to watch that back, she will show you exactly how you make it into a quilt. And for my first quilting project, I used a panel like this and actually it's a lot quicker and a lot easier. It's a quick quilt. I, I never normally say that when you're talking about quilting projects. It's normally quite an investment in time, isn't it? Whereas this, one, so affordable for a quilt kit, plus you're getting your instructions and it looks amazing. The end result, so many people are going to ask you about it. So many people. Um, so you've got your half a metre of your lovely blue, sky blue. You have your half a metre also of your ivory, half a metre of your dark grey and half a metre of your lighter grey. All two metres of fabric plus your panel and your instructions. Watch back John's birthday as it was one of the most popular quilts. Hence, why well, we've put it on the back wall. It was extremely, extremely popular. And yeah, the finished size is a nice little lap quilt. I'd definitely have that up on the, um, on the window though. That's so cool, isn't it? It is so cool. Anybody that loves, um, you know, safari and has maybe, um, have you ever been on a safari safari holiday, Kat? Oh, she'd love to go. Love to go. Favourite animals. Um, a giraffe. We know that because what's your giraffe, what's your giraffe called? Ralphie. She's got a little uh, giraffe. Giraffe. Ralphie's a uh, cat's little friend. Cat's little uh, giraffe teddy. She's 25 years old. Oh, it's just amazing. Just having one last look at that amazing panel and the detail on the digital, but digital, digital print. £29.99. Around the world, giraffe's, uh, giraffe's attic window. And look at his face. Look at the bird. Can you see the bird on his neck? That's such cool detail, isn't it? Amazing. It really, really is. But it's the first time I've seen it. I love it. I saw it on the telly, but actually it looks even better in real life. I'm excited for you to get it home, really excited for you to see that in real life. So, that's your attic window. As I say, we're doing a real pit stop at kits today. Uh, watch back the show if you want to, uh, to see the instructions, but you've got some great instructions actually that are very, very clear indeed. Um, okay, that's your attic window. Cushions. I saw Hannah do this. So, um, Hannah was like our little saving grace, wasn't she, for two days when I got a bit petrified by a spider on set. It has still made me go a bit, ooh. Honestly, that spider was huge. It was huge, wasn't it, Cat? Cat freed him outside into the garden. Joe was too scared to get him. I had to dart out the studio uh, to the point that our producer, Hannah, who's upstairs, had to come and present the rest of the show. That's how dramatic I was. Um, it was huge though, those of you that saw the show, it was huge. Uh, so anyway, Hannah was brilliant that day. The next day, John's car broke down. So Hannah, again, two days in a row, appeared on your screens again. And uh, for the last hour, I know that she recapped this incredible kit, which launched back on, let's see if we can find the date for you. Uh, it's Alison Marion's beautiful Hello Blossom Shadow Applique Cushion Book. Those of you that got the brand new book today that we've launched, there's loads of you that have already checked out on Linda Clement's book. On page, I wanna say 170, yeah. On a page 170, there is a whole section on um, shadow applique, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's such an amazing technique. And what I love about it is something, it was the 24th of May it was launched, 24th of May, or you can watch back Hannah's show, which was last Thursday, I believe, um, and she had it in the last hour as well. So, in the kit, Alison's put together this beautiful kit, which not only comes with Sewing Street exclusive instructions. You have your templates in here as well. You also have your wadding. You have your um, like webbing. So this is like a, a, a bonder web sort of thing, but it's actually like a it's like a glue that's in a bit of a I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a fusible, basically. So you have your fusible, you have your um, your wadding, you also then have your cotton, and you have all of your fabrics that you're going to need, these lovely bright colours, all pre-cut, ready to go. Your green, 
your little spotty uh, yellow. And then this, which can you see, is absolutely beautiful. It's organza. And if I show you the finished cushion, which I'm sure, have I got it here? Oh! So, if I show you, can you see how beautiful the organza, it gives it the most stunning sparkle. And I know, because I watched Hannah's show and she was going, you can't see it at home, you can't see it at home. It's so subtle and look, it's just got that beautiful sheen. It's like a lovely glitter, thanks Joe. Just come really close so you can see how that has just given it the most lovely sparkle and sheen. It's absolutely gorgeous. And that's what makes it um, the shadow applique. Don't you start, cat. Oh my word. I've been talking about that song the last week. It's so strange that you're singing that in my ear. Do you remember the film Nativity? How many years ago did that come out? I've never heard it until about a week ago. And Liam was singing it constantly. Produced Liam. He actually made a kit at Jewelry Maker called Shadow and Sparkle and Shine. Sparkle and Shine. Which, um, song from Nativity. Cat's singing it now. It does have a beautiful sparkle and shine. On the film. Cat worked on that show. How cool is that? So anyway, it's beautiful. So obviously you've got your fusible, which fuses to your fabric. Um, there was a great demonstration though, if you do want to watch it back from Alison on the 24th of May. That colorway is lovely. So that's to make your Hello Blossom, which is this one. Everything that you need, including your envelope back. A nice beginner's project as well, isn't it? And that, if you had that on a, on a sofa or a statement sort of armchair, and you said that is the first cushion I've made, I would be pretty impressed. It looks very, very complicated, but actually really nice and easy with Alison's instructions. £26.99 and everything that you need for the kit, already cut, there, ready to go. Um, plus your templates. Right, so the other shadow applique option is the Daisy Duo, which comes again with everything you need. I love those fabrics, they're really nice together, aren't they? Alison's done a great job putting those kits together. Um, there's your organza as well. I'd love organza. You definitely need to do more shadow applique. It's the first time I've actually seen this technique and it does work so well, having that beautiful sparkle and shine. So this time your Daisy Daisy Duo comes with your instructions. Comes with your organza. And if I just place that over the top, can you see that beautiful sparkle and shine that you get? There's your quilting cotton. Everything that you need from your ivory and your organza, all of your cotton for the back, your fusible and your wadding. You could do some great free motion quilting with this, couldn't you? Let me show you what it's going to make. And that's to make this option. Nice big templates, are not fiddly shapes, but it, the end result is absolutely beautiful. Alison cut the fabric herself as well, so you get the right amount. The kit is made from Alison um, at $26.99. I'm loving all of our new guest designers. They're amazing, aren't they? And I'm absolutely loving this technique, that shadow applique, giving that beautiful glistening finish. Looks very, very expensive indeed. And as I say, Alison has put the kit together, so she's cut everything, all ready to go. Uh, £26.99 for that one. And that was, again, 24th of May, if you want to watch the demonstration back. Thank you, Kat. Right, let me put all this back. You've got so much fabric, everything that you need, all cut, ready to go in that kit with your organza and your instructions. Oh, it'll be lovely and neat when you get it. Don't you worry, I'm not packing it. <laughs> it will be beautiful. I'm not very good at tidying, can you tell? Right, let's do some of Kerry's. Oh, Living With Loveliness is honestly oh, one of the most exciting additions to Sewing Street. Kerry is an incredible teacher, those of you that have seen her demonstrations, and she puts together the most lovely, 
lovely kit. Which one should we start with? So I've got this one, which is your caddy. So if you have seen her demonstration, she goes throughout for a whole hour talking you through how you make it um, and you've got all of the pockets on the inside you've got the pockets on the outside I think this would make a really lovely knitting box or organizing caddy for all of your little notions maybe your marking tools or rotary cutters in there it's fully reversible it's something that uh, well it's got designer fabric it's absolutely beautiful this one option is from Riley Blake now it's slightly different fabrics to what you see here so let me go through and they come wrapped beautifully in tissue paper. They come with a little sticker that says Love Carrie from Living in Loveliness. They're presented beautifully. And those of you that, um, if you buy anything online or if you go to a nice shop where they wrap it in tissue and they just do that extra bit of mile, that extra mile with the presentation, I always feel that if you get a kit that's already presented to you like that, you take so much more care when you're sewing, you spend more time on it. I certainly do. I think it's so beautiful having that presentation. So you have in here all of your instructions. Now, Kerry's instructions, as I say, are incredibly thorough. They've got great photographs to talk you through, but also you've got that demonstration which you can watch back online. If you go onto YouTube and type in the date, then you'll be able to find it. I'll find the date for you as well. So it's 14 inches by 10 um, in, no, sorry, it's 10 inches high by eight inches deep and eight inches wide. Now, the only other things that you're going to need is an erasable pen, a sewing machine, uh, an iron, pins and scissors. That's it, everything else is included. Plus you've got your templates here. So templates are included and then inside you're getting your beautiful Riley Blake floral prints. I love this. It's absolutely gorgeous. You also have, it's on the 28th of May if you want to watch it back on YouTube, 28th of May, jot that down. Plus, you're getting your lovely straps, your webbing. You have your Riley Blake complimentary spear minty green geometric sort of print. And then the first time that we've had it on Sewing Street, Bozel, which is a brilliant, brilliant, almost like sewing uh, foam to give you that lovely structure, give you great structure to your caddy and she'll talk through all of the tips and techniques of sewing through it then. It's just £39.99 for all of your goodies wrapped up with loads of loveliness from our Kerry and as I say watch the show back even though your instructions are very very thorough extremely limited on all of her kits type in living with loveliness uh, living in loveliness on the website and see what is available because i know all of her kits are now extremely extremely limited that's the riley blake option okay we've also got her latest edition her newest edition which she brought in for us the other day which is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so once again comes with your lovely tissue paper and sticker and in this package, we're making a wool little purse. Now, I'm thinking for anybody who does English paper piecing, how amazing is this for on the move? And look at the lining. I love, 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 love this. Such attention to detail. Um, she always wants to get the most out of the kit. She's a fantastic teacher and will show you exactly how you can create your very own little crafty clutch. Um, for $24.99. Now, I love the wool. I think that is such beautiful quality. It reminds me of the Savile Row wool. It's absolutely gorgeous. She was very, very excited to get this wool. It's beautiful, beautiful quality, and it's already cut, ready to go. So you have um, your wool. You also have this beautiful, almost like a, it's like a, it's like a cotton canvas. It's, it's a heavier weight, so it's perfect for this project and complements beautifully with the wool. And that's for your lining. It's stunning. Uh, this was demonstrated on the 4th of June. The 4th of June, if you want to watch it back on YouTube. And you can sew along with Kerry. Uh, there's already loads of you that have got this in your basket. Be aware, this is very, very limited. It also comes with your wadding. We're not done. You get loads in this kit. Your wadding, you get two zips. You get your magnetic fastener and your instructions and templates so much for your money and as always Kerry very very detailed with beautiful photographs but also you can watch the YouTube demonstration back for free 
it's just there online ready to go and I think again it was a, a really lengthy demonstration she's very very thorough with her with her demos um, but these are great aren't they for gift ideas for people maybe to keep makeup brushes or um, your little notions if you're taking sewings on uh, sewing on the moon just £24.99 and I do love the wool love the wool option see I even think that would be nice for you know if you want to put things like glasses and sunglasses and to take uh, away with you contact lens bits and bobs it's just really smart isn't it really really smart indeed okay I haven't done this yet. I'm so thrilled that you've said this. Right, so when um, our lovely Sally Stevens, I've known Sally Stevens for a number of years now, and when I saw the 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 fabrics come in and the the project that they were planning for John's birthday, oh my word, I was in love. Now I know John Con Morgan absolutely loves this quilt as well. It's been the most popular quilt pattern we've had ever, ever, the most popular. Um, they sold out, they sold out completely. Because of the demand, because people were asking, we've managed to get them back in stock. Now, I have not seen this yet, so I can't wait. Um, it comes all in a box like this. You're gonna get loads and loads, oh, this is so exciting. Loads and loads of fabric, and it makes the most incredible quilts. Now, Joe, I'm gonna, I should have asked you this earlier, but I wonder whether you've got a picture of the finished quilt, because I've got it here, but it's massive. So you know there was an advert that went out for this, and it's just incredible. This is what the quilt looks like, but it, it just is not gonna do it justice looking like that. It's incredible, it's huge. Of course, for John Cole Morgan's birthday, he wanted a massive quilt. This is an 86 inch square. It's tulip pink, it's full of color, and it's, oh my word, yes, an investment, but my word, that is gonna be a quilt that I would presume is gonna be passed down through generations of your family. Um, so, All of your instructions are here, but you can watch Sally's demonstration. Sally's a fantastic teacher once again. Um, what did you say? It was on the 29th of May. What did you say about John having... What do you mean John got two? John got two? John got two kits. He got one to make the quilt and one to, make the uh, one to have the fabrics. Oh my word, I've got serious envy. This is incredible. Let me show you the fabrics. Honestly, this is, this is something else. I love tulip pink. So there's um, a shop near me called Quilter's Den, which is um, a quilting shop in Warwick and it's beautiful. I went and did all of my sort of beginners patchwork quilting classes there and I love them. I walk past the window and they keep changing the sort of dressing of the window on my walk the other day and their window is full of Tula pink at the moment. Oh, and it's really, really hard to get in the UK here. Um, Tula is a huge, it is an absolutely huge brand in America. She's an absolutely incredible quilt designer, but it's really hard to get here in the UK. So when I saw it in Warwick, I was like, oh my word, you've got Tula. So of course they plastered it all in the window. But to be able to get these incredible colors. Look at all of these fabrics, all pre-cut, ready to go they're all corresponding with the with the pattern as well so every single one of them is going to be used in the quilt and oh my word can you see why we love this in fact should we show you the finished quilt we're going to just show you a, a short video it was the advert that went out um pardon just a segment of the advert just so you can see um the amazing colors look at that all together that's so cool! Your star burst quilt. Look at how the colours just sort of oh burst out. They're amazing. And that was our lovely Sally, who um, uh, Sally Stevens, who of course made the quilt. This one is the background. So all throughout the, I don't know that you saw that on the video, but all throughout the background of the quilt, you've got these amazing monkeys. Look at this. Tulip Pink is, I'm, I'm saying it, she's my favourite quilt, my favourite fabric designer. Oh, just look at that. Yeah. $149.99, sounds a lot, but actually, do you know what, for a quilt of this level, oh, it's incredible. It's incredible. 
So when you're making the starburst, they've thought about what sort of the size of the prints of the fabric as well. So you're not going to lose any of that detail. It's been really, really well thought out. It's from Free Spirit. It is um, a, a quilt that, kit that's been um, put together with Free Spirit. So they've done all of that sort of hard work for you. Oh, it's absolutely incredible. That's the Monkey Wrench fabric from Tula Pink. But also, I mean, there's so many beautiful colours in there. It, it's been the most popular quilt pattern that we've had at Sewing Street. So enjoy. If you are after a recommendation of everybody else, then this is the proofs in the pudding. It's been so popular. I'm really pleased that we managed to get this back in stock. Um, we managed to put, uh, well, of course, we managed to get as many kits as we possibly could in. There are now only nine left. I don't know whether we'll be reordering. I don't know whether we're going to be able to get it again. The detail in all of these, I mean, look at this. It looks like vines. It looks like pink. Can you see the hidden detail of the frogs? The camouflage frogs. I spotted him first, but then look also. Can you see him there? And there, look. Oh, I just love it. I absolutely love it. The banana one is one of John's favourites. Seven left. Seven quilt kits left. Seven quilt kits left. This one. Again, amazing. Look at that. Where's the birds? Oh, here. They're the birds. Look. Joe's coming to have a look closer. You get your solids as well. Your Tula solids, your Tula spots. Everything is so well thought out. Look, there's the birds. Look, their beaks. Oh, they're so cool. The ladybirds as well. Ladybug. The, oh gosh, I'm just honestly getting too excited about this. I can see why John was absolutely in awe of these fabrics. Aren't they amazing? Aren't they just amazing? Right. Well done, everybody who already got it on John's birthday will manage to get it again. I know it's considered a purchase, but consider it. Maybe you've been waiting for that big project to really just get your teeth uh, stuck into. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, if you do go onto our web shop, which is www.sewingstreet.com, type in Tula. I'll show you, in fact, actually. We've got some new things on yesterday. Yesterday, there were some new Tula products in. Um, Again, oh, so envious, that stripe, I love that. Right, so we're at sewingstreet.com. Don't worry if it goes to Jewelry Maker, that's correct. You've gone to the right place. Our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, we're just borrowing part of their website at the moment. Right, can we type in T-U-L-A, Tula Pink? I want to see what they had yesterday. Let's have a look. Oh my word, they had charm packs and design rolls. Oh, so if you're thinking, right, I just want to have a bit of a taster, or I want to have a bit of a try out. It's a different collection to this one. It's the homemade collection. Um, have a look on the website, though. If you love these sort of colours, Tula is known for big, big bright, bright, bold colours. You can see, obviously, the quilt kit is there, but if you're not ready to take that whole plunge of the quilt kit, why not get some pre-cuts? Why not the hexes, the pre-cuts? Keep scrolling, Joe. Keep scrolling. You've also got the hexes there. Hexes. You've also got your 42-piece uh, charm pack. That's only $14.99. Gosh, brilliant. Brilliant. All launched yesterday, so I just thought I'd remind you of that one. Six of the quilt kits left. If you got it in the past, well done. If you're getting it today, oh, I'm so excited for you. Honestly, oh, I was really, really looking forward to that one. It's beautiful. Oh, we've had a picture come in. Um, hello, Judith. Judith, she says, I'm ready to start my quilting. Judith, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Where are you going to put it, Judith? Oh, I love it. And the great thing is, I mean, the quilting the Wendy's done on this, you can literally just go around the window frame, can't you? But imagine if you were to do, put your free motion foot on and have a go at just sort of following some of the, the, the movement in the drafts, or you could do some clouds in the sky, couldn't you? I mean, you can get as creative as you want. You could do some corn. You could do um, free motion of corn. I mean, there's loads that you could do this, but it works so well, even if you're just to simply follow the lines of the uh, the window frame it's beautiful absolutely beautiful thank you for getting in touch judy thank you for getting in touch right let me pop it away remember only six of those left now i don't know whether we can get it back in somebody might actually even get that one <laughs> that's uh, it's incredibly limited i'll make sure it goes very nicely right 
let's do some EPP, EPP. Um, our cat loves EPP. This has been your lockdown hobby, hasn't it? We're going to start with the June showers, which comes with two packs of your hexes, which are one inch hexes. 200 of your one inch hexes uh, for £19.99 and your huge panel, which I'll show you in a second. So there are your hexes, pre-cut, laser cut, in fact. Don't get me wrong, I mean, you can cut your own hexes, but it takes a long time, doesn't it, to cut 200. And especially, they're lovely quality. These are from Fabby's, which are um, not as thick as card card, but so they're they're thick enough that they go. You're probably going to be able to reuse them, but they're and that you can wrap your your fabric around. But also they're thin enough that you can still um, sort of manipulate them a bit. What were you going to say, cat? It's not too difficult. If you catch your needle, then um, you're fine. But also you want them slightly thicker than paper, really, don't you? So, this is your June showers panel. What I would do is I'd number these I'd, on the back with a, a fabric eraser pen or, you know, a pencil or something. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, before you start cutting these out so you know exactly um, where they all go in their place. So you've got all of these lovely hexes already fussy cut. How good's that? Already complementing each other. And then if I move this across, thanks, Joe. You also have your back of the cushion. Sorry, I've got all of these kits all over the place. Um, we've got the, the cushion back. We've also got on here some applique hexes, little labels as well. What I would actually do, even though it's enough to make one big cushion, I would probably make two. I'd use my plain white backing for, for my stash for one of them and then my second cushion would be that as the front with these appliqued on and then you've got your labels as well so you could have two cushions less than 20 pounds and all you need to add is your back your backing um, the panels are exclusive to us they've been printed especially for us which is a brilliant isn't it with our own design team I, I love the fact that we've got our own exclusive panels uh, for £19.99. This is the great thing about working with industry experts all the time, isn't it? We're able to bring you prices like this. Just £19.99. Don't forget, you also do get your um, hexes as well. You do get your hexes. This was on the 12th of April. If you want to watch the show back, if you want to get some tips on EPP, I think it was... No, I think it was um, Sally Ann. Do you think it was Cara? Mm-hmm. Oh, it was a car ride. Um, it was absolutely brilliant, though. I do I do recall it. I've got a feeling it was Sally Ann. We've also got, but you could be right. I could be wrong. It's known. It's, it's known. It, it has happened before. Oh. Maybe it was Cara. Okay, shall we do the uh, lantern one? In fact, I've got this one here. That's your harbour. Look, with your lighthouse, not lantern, I meant lighthouse. But see what I mean about having two cushions? I'd have that as one and then use a navy or an orange or an ivory or whatever you want. And then on the back, that could be cushion number two, wouldn't it? So in here you get, it's Sally Ann. Yes, I told you, Kat, I'm rarely wrong. I'm rarely wrong. Don't be sorry. We forgive you, cat, don't we? No. No. Gosh, it's very warm in here now, isn't it? Did you really put it at 31 degrees? 27. 27 degrees. So we've got now, you know that we've all been saying about this air conditioning unit, we've now got a silent air conditioning unit, but this morning I was ever so chilly in here because it's very cold air con. It's good air con. It's really good air conditioning. So now I've had a bit of a um, blast of heat, but it's really hot now. That's the thing with aircon, isn't it? It's either really hot or, or cold. Uh, right, £19.99. And don't forget, you get your EPP uh, pieces ready to cut and go. Gosh, it's a fancy aircon unit. You can put me on a cycle. Gosh, amazing. Uh, then you also have this lovely detailed harbour print, plus then your big hexes and your um, labels as well. 
All for £19.99. Love the colourway. I love the oranges with the navies. Very modern, very contemporary. It is lovely for you. Conservatory, isn't it? £19.99. Love that colourway. And of course, you're also getting again your two of your babbies. 200 X's. Are they one inch again? <laughs> Thanks, Jan. £19.99 for uh, your kit, which again, this was demoed by Sally Ann. Sally Ann Cat. <gasps> oh dear, I remember it. It wasn't even me, it was with Debbie. Debbie Shaw was on the day. It was back on the, what date? 20, 12th, 12th of April. It was ages ago now, wasn't it? Okay, that was one of our first demos. That's why I remember it was Sally Ann. Okay, let's do, oh, of course, let's do the glue pen because to use, to, to do this, of course you can uh, thread based, but I know so many people who maybe used to thread base and now have been converted and used the glue pen. It's £6.99 and did you say that you bought it out? <gasps> Thank you. Uh, so you get a refill in here already. It comes with a, a glue stick already in there and then an extra refill as well. It will become your best friend. Now, I, I tried it, I must say. I have tried like a, a Pritt stick or a different glue pen. It does not uh, work. It's not designed for fabric. This is a temporary glue. This is a, tempor uh, a temporary fabric glue. And therefore, when you are taking your paper pieces out, it is going to, uh, it's going to be easier to do that. I know a lot of people who use this to put in zips as well, for inserting zips in bags. If you do just want something as a temporary hold, have a go with this. Now, um, I believe that the, uh, whenever we get these sew line pens in, again, they just sun out, don't they? Really popular indeed. It's blue, but don't worry, it will dry completely clear. Now, this one has been used a lot, actually, look. It's already started to get a little bit, um, a little bit used but when you're ready to change over your nib the the tips are uh, replaceable by simply just popping them out lifting them out and popping the next one in rolling it right to the top and popping it out um, but it will dry completely clear so sometimes your refills might be pink or might be yellow or might be white but don't worry it's just nice to be able to see where you've put your glue now do you glue your fabric or glue your card cat You glue your fabric, because Hannah glues her card and then folds the fabric over. So I suppose it's personal preference, isn't it? Dries completely clear. It depends on the day. Depends on the day, Kat's saying. Uh, if you do want to try maybe a nice bit of slow sewing, have a go at EPP. A project like the cushion is a really nice achievable project, which, I mean, I think it's nice to just keep going and going and going and see what happens. I know Kat's sort of just doing sort of like a patchwork scrappy quilt, but she says, what... What are you making? She's like, well, I don't know. I'm just going to keep going and going and going and going and going and see where I end up. And it's just £6.99, which is, in fact, brilliant value because I know um, I know other places, I think this is about £9.99. If you can get it at the moment, it's very, very popular. Get it while you can. Even here, we're always sort of saying, we haven't got it in stock at the moment, so do make the most of that. Okay. We've now got the Sun Prince quilt, which uh, I've not seen before. I've seen the Alison Glass Sun Prince range, which is, oh, so beautiful and bright. Those of you that love these rainbow projects at the moment, especially, then these are absolutely beautiful. Sorry, I'm getting myself in a right mess. With quilt shows like this, with kit shows, there's so much fabric and so much going on, isn't there? So do bear with my mess. Uh, so this was... John Cole Morgan's very own pattern, his very own design. He's designed it especially for us here at Sewing Street. Pardon? Like that? There you go. Your Sun Prince chain quilt. Six and a half metres of fabric plus your instructions. So, look at these fabrics. They are absolutely beautiful you have your these are called aren't they called like embroidery shapes or something right let's have a look at what you're getting in here 
it was only launched this year. It's the latest Alison Glass range. Um, uh, and those of you that, that love these colours, I think we have them all by the half meter on the web shop as well. Have a look. But in the quilt kit, you're getting half a meter, half a meter of this one, which is Dahlia and Menagerie. Menagerie. Menagerie pint in Dahlia. They look like cross stitch, don't they? Oh, when you look at these fabrics, all of the Alison Glass ones, there's so many different motifs. Every single time I look at it, I see something different. Look, there's a little squirrel there. I'd not noticed the squirrels. Rabbits, bees. There's a lion. John's designed the quilt that you don't lose these details again. You, you still have got these amazing motifs. So you've also got, that's half a metre. Another half a metre this time. This one's called Stitched. Colour is called Penny. And once again, beautiful motifs. Be nice to do a bit of um, embellishing with some maybe colonial knots or, or French knots over the top of them, or lazy daisies, different. You could do some really lovely hand stitching over the top of this. Half a metre of this one. And then, this is the one that I was talking about, I think it's called embroidery. Yeah, it is. You're getting a metre of the blue and a metre of the green. A metre and a half of the green. This one is so cool. I mean, look at all of the different prints that you've got there. Loads of different motifs of your doves and flowers and stars and horseshoe even on there. Your, uh, your clubs and spades and hearts and diamonds, your seahorse on there. How lovely is that? Again, it's like a big doodle page, isn't it? Another one that would be nice to embellish on. Uh, just £78.99 for the whole of your quilt kit. Is it going to be a big quilt as well? Of course, you don't expect John Carl Morgan to design a small quilt. So that's a metre. Then you have a metre and a half of green. This is called Stitched on Grasshopper. And it's gorgeous quality. Quilting weight, there's loads of fabric here. A metre and a half of your green. And then for your background, three metres of ivory. That's everything that you need for the front and the binding. You'll just need uh, fabric for the backing of your quilt, but it's absolutely gorgeous colours. I don't know whether you've got a picture, Joe, of the finished quilt. Has John made a finished quilt? And you have how much of your cream, sorry? Three metres of cream. 30th of May, if you want to watch it back. 30th of May, this was launched. Um, it does come with all of your step-by-step -step instructions from John Cole Morgan. £78.99. pence. All of your very clear, lovely instructions. Oh, you can see there. So there you go. You've got four different blocks. And they're all sort of repeat, repeated. Oh, let me, um, I was looking at a different page to you. I didn't realise you couldn't see it through. Hang on, it's this one. That's the picture I was looking at. You can see the four different blocks that are all then repeated. Just £78.99. Okay. So you can watch back Joe's demonstration. Sorry, can't get the picture. Can't get the staff, can you? Joe's saying sorry, it's fine. Uh, we've also got it in the grey colourway. I love that ochre. That's so beautiful. <gasps> I love this colourway. That purple is gorgeous as well. So once again, full instructions. There's so much on today's show, it's brilliant. I love doing big roundup shows like this. We've got loads and loads and loads to bring you. Um, so you have all of your full instructions from John Cole Morgan. And you know, he's always on our, our, our Facebook page as well. So if you've got any questions, not only has he done it very, very clearly, plus he's done a, a demonstration on air. Uh, he also is fantastic with social media. So it, he will answer any of your questions that you have. So you have all of your instructions, plus you have, Three metres 
Three metres of you, grey. Silver, this one's called. Three metres of you, silver. A metre and a half of embroidery on jam. I've not jammed that colour before, have you? Blackberry jam, maybe? I like the thimble. Uh, then we also have a metre menagerie in pepper. Half a metre of embroidery on cloud. And half a metre of menagerie on pencil. That lovely yellow. £78.99 for all of uh, your fabrics plus your instructions. And again, you can watch it back on the 13th of May on YouTube. Exclusive to us. Brilliant. Um, it's definitely worth going on to the web shop, www.sewingstreet.com. Don't worry that it will redirect you to Jewelry Maker page. Type in Alison Glass in the, uh, the search bar and there's all of the, the fabrics from this range all listed uh, by the half metre as well. So if you are thinking for other projects, maybe dressmaking or bag making or soft furnishing or quilting, if you want to add more of these fabrics in, then we've got them all by the half metre as well. So it's definitely worth having a look and checking out on that whilst you're only paying one PMP. Shall we do our super soft waddings? Now, um, in the new book that launched this morning, excuse me, uh, in the new book that launched this morning, what I love about this, I've been asking if we could do a section on waddings, a show on waddings, because this is one thing that since I've, I've learned over the last few years is that it's all kind of personal preference, really. Um, and we all use different waddings for different things. Let me see if I can find it. This book is amazing, by the way. It's so, so thorough. It was in today, um, brand new today. It was 19.99 RRP and we've got it at 15.99. But it goes actually into talking about waddings. Uh, so it tells you what is wadding and the fact that it's, uh, it is a material or a batting. Uh, you might have heard it as batting in, in America, um, where it, you put that between two layers, which forms quilt padding basically uh, and there are lots of different types that are made of different materials and you might use them for different reasons so the two different ones that we've got i believe we've got a polyester and we've got a poly cotton so which one do you want to do first cat the poly cotton first is this one now the size on this as well is queen size which says on here it's 228 by 274 but check your quilt size on your pattern just because sometimes they can vary they can vary depending on what country we're in or you know what pattern we're using um, you're going to need a bit of extra water a couple of inches around the perimeter of your quilt so then you've got enough to sort of quilt with but talking about um, a blend so in the book it goes to talking about blends so wadding may also um, also differ from blended fibres, for example, 80% cotton and 20% polyester, which is this one, um, or 50% or 50%. Uh, blended waddings tend to be more stable and less apt to shift. I know a lot of people that choose to use um, a, a blended, uh, one of the 80 to 20s are always very, very popular. The, the cotton, just so you know, is this one, the other one's got, is 100% polyester, but the benefits of having cotton in your wadding, it says that it's finer, heavier, and warmer than polyester wadding, um, and is very suitable for machine quilting. It can also be hand quilted through, uh, although it does need to be quite close. Let's see if it says, it normally says on the packet how far you need to stitch. So stitch up to 10 inches apart, which is good, isn't it, actually? You don't actually need to do uh, as much sort of quilting. So that's the benefits of using the, the H20, but I must say, it's a bit of a minefield of personal preference. I've asked so many people, what do you use, what do you use? And they all have different um, opinions on what it is they're using it for, what sort of quilt they're using it for, what finish they want. Um, but also I know when you're using cottons as well, be aware if you want to pre-shrink your, your wadding or, you know, wash it and pre-shrink it. Have a bit of a, a research into it. $44.99. That is ideal though for quilting. Now, polyester. 
This is 100% polyester, and again, it's big. This one is uh, your queen size again, which is 228 by 224. And again, it does say um, that it's needle punch for extra stability to avoid bearding, so that sort of loft coming through. And you can stitch up to 10 inches apart on this. But if I go back to my book and it says about polyester, types of wadding, and um, it will recommend why you would use polyester. This is made from synthetic fibers and available in different weights. Oh, what's this weight? Um, let me see if it tells me on the front. Typical, it's not going to tell me, is it, on the front? Um, let me go back to it, let me go back. So it says, um, including a thin, which is two ounce. Oh, no, 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 this is thicker. This is definitely thicker. We've had the two ounce, haven't we, before? I'm guessing this might be ten ounce. And thicker, ten ounce of 300 grams. I wonder if it's in grams on there. Um, anyway, it says it's usually... Less expensive, like you can see this one's just $29.99. Uh, washes well and creates a lightweight quilt. So maybe if you want something from the wall, you're not necessarily having a big cotton one to wrap up on the sofa or have draped on a bed. This would be lovely as well, but it would be slightly lighter, um, a lightweight quilt. It says that bearding might be a problem sometimes with polyester, but by buying this one, you've already seen there that it's actually uh, needle punched to avoid uh, bearding, which is that sort of loft coming through. Lower loft uh, polyester waddings can be hand quilted um, or machine quilted, but thicker weights might be a bit more difficult to machine quilt with. So it's just having that weighing up in your mind which one's best for you. Um, and obviously, be very, very aware it is polyester, so do not go directly with your iron onto this. It's good to sort of, um, it's good to just have a bit of knowledge of what, what it is that you're using it for. They're both brilliant, they're both so simple, super soft, absolutely gorgeous quality, but it just depends on what it is you're using it for. Book's great for um, a lot of knowledge in there, a lot of great information about waddings and how to use it, how to quilt at the end as well. £29.99. What was that, sorry, cat? Don't worry. Don't worry, these are the biggest ones that we've got in the queen size. We've got cot size waddings on the website as well. So have a look at your pattern, have a look at the finished size of it and um, absolutely make the most of your wadding. You don't need to use it all, you can, of course, you can cut this up and you can also sort of fuse waddings together. So never throw wadding away, keep it in your stash and you can always, um, you can buy sort of like fusible tape to put your waddings together. So, right, that's 29.99, brilliant. Have we got through them all? Well done, I think, I think we have. Um, right, over the next couple of minutes, check out your basket, go onto the website and, and have a look. I think the early bird's now sold out, sorry. Somebody said they couldn't find it, it's gone. Uh, but have a look at what is available, check out your baskets, but don't go anywhere because we've got lots of bits and bobs, lots of things to kiss out your workroom, lots of gift ideas all coming up right after this. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest
easiest way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hi, I'm John Cole Morgan and I'm here to give you my top tips on how I go about enjoying my sewing experience. My first top tip, as everybody knows, rotary cutter safety. If you're not using it and it's not on the mat, that blade must be locked. Please be safe. My second top tip is always buy more fabric than you need. If you don't have it, it's always going to sell out. You're going to struggle to find it and when you do, it's going to cost you a lot more than when you were going to buy it originally. So buy it all. You always regret the bit you didn't buy. My next tip is Positive or negative, always listen to the advice and opinions of other people. Even if you ignore them, everybody has a different perspective, everybody has a different take on things, and it might help you along the way. The next top tip I have is always buy the most expensive and the most useful and the most practical for your brain product that works for you. Some people prefer different things, buy what works for you. And my last tip is, this is fun, this is enjoyable, and make sure you are enjoying it. Because there's nothing worse than carrying on with something and hating it and not enjoying it. You need to make sure that you're having fun. Those are my top tips and how it is that I enjoy my sewing experience. I hope they help you, because they have helped me. For more handy tips and demonstrations, make sure you watch us on our Freeview Channel 74, Sky Channel of 670, otherwise follow us on YouTube on Sewing Street, where you can catch up on past demonstrations and shows. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, Drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We've got, I don't know where this morning's gone, it's always lovely when you've got Joe and Kat here. I always feel so much more at ease when there is a Wilcox here in the building and today I've got two. It's just been a lovely, I knew it was going to be good. Uh, so this hour, again, jam-packed full of goodies. We're going to get everybody's workroom kitted out and, uh, and get everybody uh, gift ideas as well. Can I just start off by just quickly recapping this. So our first hour was very, 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 very busy indeed. Um, the last big bundle of Maid Morris that we have is literally nearing on to selling out. So if you've got it in your basket, as we know a lot of people have, be aware that you do need to check out because it's about to sell out. If you would like four meters of gorgeous May Morris mode of fabrics, there are two bundles left. I don't want to put anybody off by saying there's only two left, but um, if you've got it in your basket, do not hesitate to check out on that. It's four meters of amazing quality Moda, May Morris fabric. You've heard me oh, absolutely scream and shout about this collection. I love it so much. Um, found a new, found 
love of Mae Morris. She's incredible. Please read about her. And when we get the chance, I'm definitely going to be going to the V&A to, to learn more about Mae Morris. But the uh, Moda have teamed up with the V&A to do this collection. And it's stunning. $58.99. I'm just making the most of this because I've got a feeling this will be the last time I see it. The Honeysuckle. The, oh, what was that called? Arcadia. Willow. They're absolutely beautiful quality fabrics. And the prints are stunning. They're iconic prints. They're really, really famous prints um, that you may see associated with maybe Morris & Co, William Morris, but actually his daughter, his daughter, who um, I think we should all sort of spread the word of Mae Morris, she was amazing. Okay, just sorry, wanted to quickly recap those. We had loads of bundles, by the way. If you missed the first hour, go and have a look on the website and see all of the fabric bundles that we had. We had lots of solid bundles, had Lewis and Irene, we had Rose and Hubble poplin weight, we had quilting weight, we had all sorts that first hour, so definitely have a look. But um, we also had three sisters as well. Let us know if you want to see anything because it is literally um, to the side of me so I can bring anything back. Or you just want to come and say hello. Message in. We love to hear from you. We want to make it as interactive as possible this hour. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. That is now our brand new direct email straight through to my producer, Kat, if you want to come and say hello. Um, right. Where should we start, Kat? Bali pup, do 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 do. All four colourways, right? Let's go with rainbow first. We always, always love when we get rainbow packs like this. Recently, of course, especially um, over the last couple of months, whenever I see, look out my window or go for my walks and see the rainbows in the windows, it just makes me smile. Um, but uh, even if this is for your stash, just as a stash builder, it's going to go a real long way. Wendy Orlando, who I know you met um, earlier on right at the start of Sewing Street and you also met during John's birthday weekend. Um, you may have seen her before working with the Barley Pops and they are batik fabrics. They're traditionally dyed, hand dyed in barley on the beach. We're going to go there when we can on a bit of a... a a class trip, a work excursion to learn the traditional dyeing techniques of batiks. And they are absolutely beautiful. So you can see straight away, they're slightly sort of light away and they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, yours won't come in a bag like this. Yours will come beautifully presented in a pack like that where you can see all of those lovely colors. But I just wanted to show you how much fabric you get it goes such a long way when i was talking to wendy orlando about it she made cushions she'd made table runners she'd made placemats she'd made a tote bag and she still had fabric left over there was so much that she managed to make with it i mean they're all laser cut two and a half inch strips so if you work from any pam and nikki lintart designs or jelly roll or design roll quilts um there's a lot of uh, strip quilts that start from two and a half inch strips whether you're using this for binding what about scrappy rainbow binding how about using this to subcut into squares or into triangles half square triangles or how about into hexes even colors are lovely and every single one will be different they all are hand dyed 39 pound 99 you're getting 40 of these beautiful beautiful strips honestly we can't get enough of this a pound a strip and let me show you We've cut into some of them, but this one's a full width one. 112 wide. 112 wide, so remember you're getting 40 of those. They will go a long way, won't they? They will go an awful long way. This one's beautiful, I love that colour. Even if you were to just have them in your stash, I mean, we're looking at this as a rainbow, but for Christmas projects, how about for like sunsets or like an African sunset or this one, just a strip having um, this color against a white or ivory background would look absolutely beautiful. That color is lovely as well, isn't it? If we were to sew every single one of these from end to end and end to end and end to end, maybe if you're making binding, how far's that, Joe? 4,480. 112, 112 uh, centimetres. 
times 40, 4,480. Yeah, there you go. Um, there's a lot of fabric. It will go an awful long way. And uh, yeah, it's, oh, your binding look amazing. Or your Bargello. John made a quilt top with this and it looks stunning. Having it with our panel, the rainbow panel that I know so many of you have got, just mixing it in with your solids as well, it makes it go that extra mile. $39.99, we always get requests to get those on air and they're absolutely beautiful. That's the rainbow. Once they have gone, I don't know how long it's going to take for us to get these back, just so you're aware. And we are constantly getting requests for rainbow fabrics. They're brilliant. Um, we've also got them in the pastel or under the sea. Yeah, let's do under the sea, the blues. This is what they look like all together. But again, if you're separating this out and mixing them with other colours, um, this sort of, when they're all spaced out like this, they look like the under the sea range. But actually, if you to space out, there's so many different shades in here. I think this could be quite, um, I think it could be quite spacey, space themed. You've got really lovely purples in here. Oh, this has been folded very nicely. Who did this? Look at all of these lovely colours. Let's mess it up for John. Let's mess it up because he's spent... Look, all those beautiful purples and greens. It gives you so many different colours. This one is the one that I think of like space. <gasps> Look at that! Rock pools, Joe saying. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? <gasps> Gosh, I love them. Uh, it's honestly some one of my favourite collections of boutiques ever. They're so beautiful. Just this and a beautiful blues bundle from the first hour or your basics even just on a, a white. Look amazing. $39.99. 40. 40 of your boutique barley pop. Do 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 do's. Sorry, John. I've messed this up again. <gasps> I can't help it, they're just so gorgeous. Let's do the pastel. This is the one that Wendy Orlando had and it was absolutely gorgeous. It went a very, 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 very long way. There are your barley pups again with your pastel colourway. So like your rainbow, but this time like ice creams. Do you want some ice cream on your birthday? Do you want some jelly? Jelly and ice cream for your birthday, Joe. It's Joe's birthday on Saturday. Get all your messages in for him. He's, he's chosen to come in, spend it with us. Look at this. Please, lots of lovely birthday messages for Joe. We're gonna have to do some sort of, um, I don't know, competition or something. We'll have to have a think of what we can do. 39 pounds, 99. Aren't they beautiful? I'm just thinking, you know, like we have our birthday shows. You are the most hardworking person here in the building. You're here every day. Well, I know Alan Marr also is, but look at that. That is like unicorns. No, I've never seen unicorn ice cream, no. <gasps> look at those guys. They are absolutely beautiful. Subcutting those into strips, into, sorry, um, into squares or into hexes, into triangles. Using them for your EPP. That looks lovely as well. Look at the colours in there. Right, I think this is my favourite barley, uh, barley pop pack. $39.99. They're all beautiful colours. But um, yeah, I think this one's my favourite. We've also got the autumnal colours as well. Pound a strip, £39.99. pence. Let's do the uh, autumnal colourway as well. I just wanted to spend a little time so you can see as I, it, they're all becoming very, 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 very limited. We ordered loads and loads and loads of these. And they're always extremely popular. The last colourway is this. Do you know if you love the, the uh, safari sort of feel, 
love this. This is your autumnal warm, beautiful witch fires and camps. Uh, I'm thinking like toasted marshmallows. I saw this kit on, um, I think it was on Instagram or Facebook or something on social media where you can get your own little, well, it's like candles really, where you do your own marshmallows at home. Have you seen that? It looks so cute, doesn't it? Mmm, I love toasted marshmallows. Sunset, like an African sunset. All of these beautiful colours. Your greens, your oranges, your yellows. Oh, they're absolutely beautiful together. Oh, it reminds, it's very nostalgic for, for our cat because it reminds her of a dress that her mum used to wear, like a silk dress. Goldy green silks, they're so beautiful. I do love all these colours together. You can't go wrong. Just £39.99, all 40 of your two and a half inch strips. They're all laser cut as well, so you know that you've got that precision. And if you were to, to try and cut your own, you'd have to have a lot of fabric, wouldn't you? Whether it be by the half metre, how much it would cost you then to, to subcut them. Whereas that is a great way of having, uh, you know, cotton pre-cuts, all of the range of colours, all traditionally hand dyed in barley, uh, laser cut as well, and all two and a half inch perfect strips. They're your autumnal colour range, but I, I am thinking like an African sunset. £39.99. pence. Hand cream time. Did you say? Did you say hand cream? So, at the moment, this has literally been like my saviour. Um, we were all washing our hands, obviously, a, a lot more than, than normal. And therefore, your hands do sort of, it takes its toll on your skin, doesn't it? What I love about this hand cream is that it absorbs instantly. This is Seam's hand creams. And those of you that have met Karen, who is the inventor of, uh, of Seam's hand cream, then will know, oh my word, what an incredible woman she is. I, I love people that... If you find a problem, you find a solution. And my word, she's done that. I have serious sort of envy. I always watch Dragon's Den and all these different programs where I'm like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Or why couldn't I have invented that? That's such a simple and great idea. And she was actually on the milliner's course and um, asked the lecturer, said, look, my hands are absolutely in ruins from making all these hats. Um, she says, is there any hand cream that you can recommend? And they said, well, no, I haven't found one. Because if you're working with different fabrics, those of you that work with silks or silk dupions or any fabrics, you'll know that you don't want to get greasy hand cream on your fabrics. So this is designed with sewers in mind, but also, especially at, at the time right now, um, all of the different sort of ingredients that go into it, all of the breakdown is on the website, by the way. It does contain macadamia and nut oil, just so you're aware, but all the breakdown is, is on, the, um, on the website. But on the side that you can see here, is it easier if I show you on the, um, on the other camera? Um, it's got, beautiful natural ingredients, loads of natural ingredients that um, th that are designed to help to moisturise, to soften, restore and condition, to help nourish and smooth. That's the, the shea butter, which is beautiful, it smells lovely. It's designed to help even skin tone and enhance the skin barrier with pro-vitamin B5. It's designed to help strengthen your nails. It's really, really helped on my nails during lockdown. And also comfort with the Fragonia oil, uh, which is the scent, which is the scent, uh, the signature scent. It smells beautiful and it's not like um, an overpowering florally smell. It's like, it's a very clean smell. It's not clinically clean. You don't need much. You really, really don't need much, like a pea size amount. And just give yourself, I like to do it of, of an evening, get into bed and just give yourself a little bit of a hand massage as a sewer or any sort of crafter, or even if you've just got it, in your bed, by the basin, in the kitchen or in the bathroom, just after you've washed your hands, just to give it a real quick um, go with, the, with the, the hand cream. It's designed to really help restore dry and roughed, uh, distressed hands. £13.99, I think it's a brilliant, brilliant price for how, how much... Um, for how much that for how much you're getting here and how many ingredients are in there and now you can carry on with your sewing and it's not going to be giving you grease onto your fabric a lot of 
a lot of hand creams that I have, they tend to sit on the surface, they smell lovely, and they're not cheap either, some of the ones I've had, that sit on the surface of your hands. Uh, with working on, um, on, uh, on the telly for a long time, everyone always buys me hand creams, and they sit on the surface, they don't actually penetrate into your skin. Um, whereas this, I find actually, really does work and it's a relatively new hand cream to the market and yet if you go onto the website you'll see how many celebrity endorsements it's had so many um people who work in the fashion industry uh people even who work on dancing on ice if you think of being in the ice all the time a lot of people um who have absolutely loved this but it's designed with sewers in mind which is a nice gift for somebody as well especially during this time nice gift really lovely gift that's £13.99. Uh, hello, thank you so much for your messages coming through. We've had a message, who from, sorry? Hello, Panam. She was wondering if she can make a large hexagon quilt from one pack of barley pops. Absolutely, they're two and a half inch strips, so you'd be able to get nice size hexes from those, and that is gonna go a long way really is maybe add in some of um your solids just to make it go further because that's affordable way of just adding it in as well um but i don't see why not i've seen some incredible incredible um hexi quilts and bargello quilts as well just using one pack of barley pops so by all means absolutely go for it let us know what you think um can't wait to see it on the Facebook fan page, can't wait. So that's the Seam hand cream. We've also now got the latest edition from Seams, which um, she's been developing right from day dot and it's only just come to, to the market, which is the hand and cuticle oil. Now we haven't been able obviously to get to the nail salons, but the only time I'd ever use cuticle oil would be when I go and have a, a, a manicure. Whenever I go and have a manicure, I think it's such a treat, isn't it? And they put the lovely, they, they trim all your cuticles and do it all nicely. And just being able to do that from your own home, don't get me wrong, $21.99, you might be thinking, oh, should I, shan't I? If you're on that sort of um, middle ground, then please know, this has got a 12 month shelf life and it will last that test of time because look, I'm not even gonna squeeze the pipette. You literally, Dab, one dab on each finger and give it a lovely massage in again. I'd probably put it on before your hand cream. Put this on first and then your hand cream and it will absorb again really rapidly. Um, I tend to get ever so sore cuticles, especially at the moment. I'm not, I'm not very good at looking after my own nails. Um, but if you do have any rough, uh, el like dry elbows or knees or ankles, if you want, as our head of TV, Hayley always says, holiday legs. Nice, silky, soft legs. She puts this on her legs. It isn't just designed for your cuticles, but I mean, look, that's already looking lovely and glossy, isn't it, on my nails and on my cuticles. If you just give that a really good soak in each evening, I think you'll really start to make uh, see a difference because once again, lots of lovely, lovely um, ingredients in there with a beautiful, beautiful smell. It's, I think it's the, um, what is the smell? Is it the Fragonia again? It's really nice. This has got macadamia um, nut oil. It's also got rose hip and uh, rice barn oils. Uh, nourish and even skin tone again. Moisturise and enhance the skin barrier. Hydrate and promote skin renewal. Designed to smooth uh, with extract from coconut oil. That's what I can smell. It's beautiful, really coconutty, with silky, soft feel. It's beautiful, really, really is. So if you really fancy treating yourself or a loved one, giving yourself a, a nice little manicure from your own home maybe, every day, then that's fantastic. You can watch Karen back if you want to, to, to watch her talking about both the hand cream and the nail oil. She did a whole hour talking about it. Just type in on YouTube, Sewing Street, and then Seams, Seams hand cream, and it will come up there. Okay. Now we bought some wadding earlier on. Oh, we've got the crib size as well. We've also got um, two different options. Two different options on your quilt, uh, your crib size quilt. So I did have a look in the, the, the Quilters Bible, the new book that we launched today. Uh, again, it just depends on what pattern you're doing, what sort of finishing you want, whether you want to work with cotton or polyester. Uh, so the cotton first, 
The cotton, it actually says on here, can be quilted up to three and a half inches apart. Uh, £10.99. So this one you will need to sort of quilt closer together. Um, but the, the cotton batting uh, is an alternative to, to the polyester, uh, which gives you a warmer finish. If you do want a, a weightier quilt, maybe it is going to be, you know, your cock quilt. Uh, just check the size on your pattern. That's just £10.99. That's your crib size. We also do have it available in uh, polyester, which I think is nice for wall hangings. It's ever so light. So it'd be really lovely for a wall hanging or even if you want to use it for in quilted cushions or quilted bags even, I, I would have said. Make it nice and soft. I think um, Debbie uses it for quilting her cushions. It's £8.99 and it's really affordable if you want to try out quilting without, you know, spending too much on your woodings. Have a go. But be aware, if you are using, you know, near an iron, be aware it's polyester. Don't put your direct iron onto this. It's just £8.99. Very affordable as well. Oh, so, yesterday... Um, Oh, yesterday, out in the garden, there was the loveliest little robin. We all have, I think, different uh, associations with robins. And quite often for me, it's memories. And I love seeing a little robin in my garden. Love it. Um, and he's a useful little robin. You can have him on your sewing machine. And, right, this doesn't hurt. Honestly, close your eyes, robin. He's a pincushion as well. He's a pincushion. Oh, yeah. You can use him. Now, look, he's got little wire legs so you can move his legs. He's just so cute. He's lovely. What a great gift for somebody, as I say, uh, if you want a little a friend to help you along with your sewing. I know a lot of people who absolutely love, 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 love Robins. My goddaughter's called Robin as well, so it's always at Christmas that I find things with Robins on um, to buy them. I never, ever find them um, any other time of the year. This is a very handy little Robin, though, pink cushion Robin. For £12.99. Maybe you collect little pincushions. He's so cute. Look at his little beak. And his little tail. He's gorgeous. Just £12.99. It was very, very popular when we launched him. It was the day that um, Liam from Jewelry Maker came over to take over the, uh, the hot seat for the day. It was just £12.99. What a day that was. Memorable. Memorable. Not always for the, uh, the right reasons, are Liam? So, that's your pincushion. If you want another option, I've got the magnetic pink dish, this one. The little rose gold one. It comes with a few pins. It comes, I think, with four pins in there. But it's ideal that if you are working around little paws or little hands and you just want to be able to quickly scoop up, it does scoop up really nice and quickly and easily. So you can be sewing along and simply chuck them in as you go and it will catch them. And it's in the lovely rose gold colour. 10 centimetre dish. It also has a magnet on the back. So, I mean, I haven't got anything that's metal here, but I know a lot of you have got the metal trolleys. You can simply just keep it onto your, uh, onto your metal trolley. I know that's wood, so it won't stick on. Uh, but I know so many people at home have got the, the little caddies like we've got here. £8.99, a nice gift for somebody. And it's just good to have all of your bits and bobs. I mean, we've got magnetic snaps and all sorts in here so we don't lose them. It's good though, isn't it, just to keep them so we know where they are. Just £8.99, nice gift for somebody, especially in the rose gold. It looks the part, doesn't it? Looks the part. I, uh, I do find... That I get, I leave pins, I drop them into the, the rug or something, and you think, oh my word, I know that there is a pin in there, and I don't know where it is. Just give it a scan across with your magnet. <laughs> You're going to be able to pick them all up. I do like the idea, though, of doing your sewing, taking it out, and simply just chucking it at them. Obviously, be careful. But it's going to catch them. Just £8.99 for your magnetic pin dish. Okay. Um, update on stock on on the dragons update on stock this was a uh, in the first hour the poplin weight gorgeous dragons these are awesome they only launched a few days ago with john and laura um the red now we've got the uh, the graphics correct on this one now it's four pound 99 for your gold dragon on red which is a poplin weight uh now it's extremely extremely limited we've only got 10 meters left if somebody wants, you know, to make a kimono or make a table runner and you're thinking, right, a couple of metres, 10 metres is 
Not much to go around, especially as it only launched literally a couple of days ago. £4.99 and a half metre for beautiful poplin weights, a slightly lighter weight, which I think is ideal for dressmakers. If you are a bag maker, um, have a look on the, the website for, I don't know whether H640 is still available at the minute or, yeah, yes, H640 is back in stock. Uh, using an interfacing will, of course, just give it that extra body if you are using it for something like bags. Um, let's do the white and gold. Do you want to do dragons or got, um, parasols? These are your ivory and gold parasols. Four pounds, 99 and a half meter. Okay, we've got nine and a half meters. Just warning you that it, it is something that, um, it's not very often that we get the chance to bring you prices like that on beautiful poplin weight fabric, just £4.99 and a half metre. This is, I know, one that uh, people are going to be multiplying with. Be aware, we are now incredibly limited. It's just £4.99 and a half metre. Half a metre looks like that. A lot for your money, isn't it? It's going to go a long way. Nice repeat pattern. Uh, I think that would be lovely on, uh, I can imagine somebody making something with this on the sewing bee. They've been watching it. Have you been watching it? It's great, isn't it? Oh, I'm so sad that it's sort of like finishing soon. We're already way into it, aren't we? Pardon? Yeah, Mark's still in. Mark's still in. It's getting really exciting. He's a friend of mine who I've met actually randomly out of the sewing world. Um, I was singing at a wedding fair and he's a pianist and he was playing the piano next to me whilst I was singing and we were taking it in turn. So I would sing for a bit and then he would do it. And then in the end we were like, Should we, do you know this song? I'll sing and you play. And it got really nice. And anyway, we got chatting and he, I was telling him about this. And then he was asking if I knew John Scott and he's friends with John and we were chatting. And then eventually he did tell me that he was going to be on it. He didn't tell me, still hasn't told me how far he gets, but oh, he's amazing. He's only been sewing for literally like two years. He did, he played the piano at my Christmas carol party. Clive. Four pounds 99, this is your gold parasols and black. I am hoping, I'm really, really hoping that he's, um, he's able to come on the show as well. I have been saying to him, please, please, please. We're just gonna wait till the show's finished and hopefully we'll be able to go into talks with, uh, with them, which is exciting. Four pounds, 99 and a half metre for your gold parasols and black. Poplin weight. Half a metre is four pound 99. Uh, literally launched a couple of days ago and we are now extremely limited on all four different colourways. It's the only other one that we can show. It's just four pound, 99 and a half metre and that gold is lovely. It's not a metallic gold. It's, um, it's just like a, a lovely gold, uh, well, it's got colour, it's not metallic. I've got it upside down though. There you go. £4.99 and that is your gold parasols on black. Poplin weight for £4.99. Right. Should we do some fat quarters? Oh, these were brilliant. Um, I thought of so many different ways of using this. I went on a, a bit of a, a rampage on Pinterest and all sorts of finding different ways of using um, Hessian. Hessian. If you've got the Osnaberg early bird, get these, get these, get these, get these, get these, because they're going to go such a long way. I'm thinking like nice little jam jars with like uh, ribbon trim, wick rack or uh, creating your own little... If you've got any jars, don't throw them away. Keep them and put just a trim of Hessian round um, with maybe like a nice little button, like a shell button or something, and keep them for your pens or keep them for your marking tools or for your uh, your rotary cutter or something like that. You can just keep all your bits and bobs in there. Or little plant parts would be lovely. All fat quarters, four fat quarters for eight ninety nine. You know, we were talking about Osnaberg earlier on and the country kit kitchen sort of theme. What about bunting and little, uh, I made for my wedding all um, little confetti sacks and things like that. Or I made a bunting that said cards on it using fabrics like this. Just £8.99. Oh, I just love them, especially if you if you love that sort of shabby chic country kitchen 
Uh, lovely finishing, I'm thinking uh, filling like a heart with lavender and just having it on on a door handle or in a wardrobe or something. It's so affordable for four of your folk quarters. Two are cotton, one is jute, and then also you've got a linen in there as well for just £8.99, four of your fat quarters. Um, it's the first, it, it is the first time that um, I've been able to to bring you those at 8 That's so good, isn't it? They're lovely. Let's do tartan. Are these all um, together? Right, uh, hopefully you're going to be able to see this. Can you see it's sort of different texture? That's almost like a blanket. It's like a fleecy... Oh, I love it. It's 100% polyester. They all are 100% polyester, but this one's a different texture. It's like um, it's like a blanket. It's like a scarf. It's really nice. Then you've also got this one, which is like a uh, woven. Um, in fact, all three of these are woven. They're really nice. Complement each other beautifully, but uh, I think these would be nice for little table get, table uh, pieces or... Even that didn't mean with your patchwork. Uh, I remember Kay Fassett, Anna Maria Horner, there's quite a few quilt designers that mix in different textures in with their quilting fabrics, even with their quilting weight cottons. So be aware obviously it's different, this is polyester and it's, it's different, but um, why not? Why not add them in? £6.99, experiment a bit. And a fat quarter, let me show you how much a fat quarter is. It's half of your half metre. So it's going to go a long way, isn't it? That's your fat quarter. It'd be nice to line like a, uh, uh, a picnic basket with it. <laughs> a picnic basket with it. Don't you think like a, um, uh, what are they called? Like, yeah, just like a picnic basket, hamper. That'd be so nice. <laughs> £6.99 for all four tartan fat quarters. £6.99. Oh, see, I love embellishing and uh, I have been known to sort of keep buttons off jumpers and things when they come off, but they're always the boring ones, aren't they? They're like the little black or, or brown buttons, which fine, useful. But I love these. Whenever we get decorative buttons in, I get very excited about different options, whether it be for putting them onto even little bands and having them as jewellery or having them as little hair clips or hair bubbles. I love making scrunchies. These are really nice to go on to, to headbands or scrunchy pieces or having them just as embellishments on um, little cardigans. What about children's cardigans or little buttons on bags? Wall hangings, just making, you know, the, the, a bit more three-dimensional with your uh, wall hangings. Right, we're going to start with the ladybirds. How about having these as almost like educational bits and bobs as well? So you can have them on, um, on, on educational projects. I've seen them on books, basically, that you can sew them onto different things and be like, right, okay, how many spots are on this ladybird or how many ladybirds are on there? How many spots are there? There's three of them all there. Somebody made a brilliant ladybird quilt the other day. You could always just have one of those in the corner, couldn't you? I love it. Absolutely love them. I saw somebody making with a, an embroidery hoop. They made their own clock with an embroidery hoop that then had like the, the detailed buttons like this is the 12 clock, three, six and nine. So you could make a clock with them. You could have them just as an embroidery hoop, do some hand embroidery and then and then add some buttons. They're really lovely. Seven of them for 2 99 I saw somebody uh, as well uh, on a top with a, a pocket and it had um, like a, a spider that was crawling up the top. But you could have it as a lady, I'd prefer a ladybird than a spider, after my experience the other day. So they're the ladybirds, £2.99, seven of them. We also have little bees. Oh, these are so lovely, aren't they? Because you could do things like, where's our beehive? If you want to make yourself something like this and sewing them on to little boxes, they'd be lovely, wouldn't they? I know Jane Green I've often adds things to a, a, a cross stitch or, yeah, um, adding them on to, to different projects that you've got. They're lovely. They've got a nice hole as well if you do want to do them on as, as buttons on clothes. £2.99 for 12 of your little bee buttons. 
quite fancy them on, on a cuff like this, just down there they'd look nice, wouldn't they, as decorative. And then we've got two of the flowers, let's do the one with the seeds and the, yeah, the gardening ones. How is everybody's garden? I think it needed a bit of rain, didn't it? It did need a bit of rain, sadly, it was good for our garden. My um, hostas were grateful for the rain, but I'm, um, I'm not very green-fingered, I'm really not. I know that Hannah's getting right into her gardening. She's fantastic. Oh, did she apologise for her nails on air? They were gardener's nails. They were working hands. £2.99 for all of you lovely little uh, buttons, your little notions like your seeds, daffodils. What about for greetings cards? Making somebody a little gardening caddy. He's on them. Very cute indeed. And then the flowers. I like the idea of having this as a wall hanging on a, a clock or an embroidery thing. These are assorted daisies. Or on a little children's cardigans. £2.99. Let me know what you're doing with these. Message in studio at sewingstreet.com. Because if you go onto Pinterest, I think I found something that says something like 360 ways of using decorative buttons. There are so many different ways of using it. Have a look on Pinterest. You'll be able to find what the section I'm on about. I might be embellishing a bit. I think there was a hundred and... I'm embellishing a bit with my uh, button joke. But uh, yeah, I, I can't remember. Hun there were hundreds of ways of using buttons though. Love them. £2.99 for your little uh, daisies. Right. Let's go back to the Canning Days bundle from earlier. Um, Moda, beautiful collection. Talking of gardening and all beautiful floral pieces, these fabrics are stunning. We had them in a jelly roll, we also had them in a layer cake, 10 inch layer cakes, but now we've got them by the half meter, well I say by the half meter. I think some of them are available on the website, yeah, by the half meter. But today in a big old mega bundle, they work so well together for 66 pounds, 99 pence. Look at all of those beautiful different fabrics. Pardon, Joe. I love the, uh, the sort of mints with the, with the yellows and the, the sort of grey tones and the corals and the reds. They're lovely, aren't they? They all complement each other. Absolutely beautiful. It flows beautifully. It's a great thing about mode, isn't it? Is you can't really go wrong. You know that if you are quilting or doing patchwork with them. I know so many people that, who are patchworkers that only work with Moda fabrics. They're so renowned for their quality, super, super soft. Quilting weight cotton, 66 pounds and 99 pence. They're beautiful, half a meter of each of those. A lot of fabric. It's gonna go a long, long way. But what I would suggest is if you are buying your designer fabric, don't get me wrong, by all means, be my guest, make a whole quilt out of these. But if you do want it to sort of stretch that bit further, maybe you're making cushions. You don't need to use it for the back necessarily. Maybe you're using, you know, different fabrics as the binding. Have complementary solid fabrics as well. Because of the price of these, it's gonna mean that your designer fabrics go that extra mile, which is that, that's what we want, isn't it? Value for money. And I must say, still, when you're looking at our solids, I believe these are Rosa Hubble fabrics, they're really, really lovely quality. They really are, so they're gonna go beautifully with your, with your mode of fabrics. We've got all of these different pinks, which are gorgeous, working your way from your peaks to your peaches. Imagine making like an ombre pink quilt. Your bar jellos maybe. It's hot, isn't it again? <coughs> Sorry. Um, three meters, 20 pounds 49. See, when you go to your fabric stores, when we're able to go back to the fabric stores, it's not very often that you get all of these different shades of pink. You might get one or two different shades of pink, where it's actually here to have that whole range. I think it's fantastic. 24, 20 pounds. I haven't got any water with me today. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I've been there for so um I've been I've had a bit of a you know you wake up and you're a bit foggy today. Maybe there's a storm brewing. Is there meant to be a thunderstorm this weekend? Oh no, not for Joe's birthday. Oh no. Oh well, we're in. We're inside, aren't we? £20.49 for three metres. That's six half metres of your different shades, your perfect ombre of lovely pinks. 
It's not rough and you get all of those different shades. They look lovely together. And on the website, they can kind of look quite similar, but actually when you see them like this together, it just works, doesn't it? The pe pinks to the peaches. Uh, right. What one, sorry? The Peonies Fabric Bundle. So, does it come with all of these? Really, three panels and your white, a, a metre and a half of white, a wheat, a, a meet, I'm not going to open that out because you know what it looks like, it's a metre and a half of white fabric and then oh, peonies are my favourite, my best friend Lauren, she's getting married next May and she's just planted during lockdown loads of peonies in her garden ready for a wedding, they are beautiful, absolutely beautiful, I had peonies in my um, bouquet, so I would love as a bit of um, I would love as a bit of a, have you still got my bouquet? What do you mean you've still got my bouquet? What have you done with it? They're all dried out and you've got it in the utility room. Oh my word, that's amazing. Cap caught my bouquet at the wedding. I had no idea that you still had that. Oh, I would love a cushion though to remind me of my wedding. Can you believe that that's nearly a year ago? Less than, oh my word, it's crazy, isn't it? I'd love this. Um, no pressure, but for my wedding anniversary, Joe, if I'm making you a beanbag, then can I have a peonies cushion, please? Seeing as Kat's got my uh, actual bouquet. Well, that'd be lovely as um, a wall hanging even, wouldn't it? Maybe somebody else's favourite flower is peonies. Maybe somebody's wedding has been postponed who was supposed to have peonies. This would be a lovely gift. So you don't only just get this. You also have... Are you going to do it, Joe? God, this is exciting. You also have... You also have this one. What's this one? Oh, they're all the same. Oh, you, so you could even use these as blocks on quilts, couldn't you? What about appliquing them onto the centre of a quilt or something? You could fussy cut round it. Or I would just have three amazing cushions. Three amazing cushions, $22.99. They are beautiful. Ah, oh, right, okay. I think we're struggling to find this on the website. So if you type in the code, which is DFXC06, DFXC06, drop that down, go onto our website and um, have a look online. You'll be able to find them straight away. Or if you call the customer service team, ask them for the peonies bundle or reference that number and they'll be able to add it to your, your order. For some reason, it's not appearing on the website, which is strange. But yeah, you can still find it on the web if you search the code. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, just speak to the customer service team. It's free to call. They're literally down the road from us. And you'll be able to just say the peonies bundle from Sewing Street, the peonies bundle. Three of those panels plus a metre and a half of white. And you can make... This is what I want. This is what I want. Oh, these are nice big, you know when you watch, I've been watching all these home improvement shows, the um, uh, the b and ones, Stay Here, I think it's called on Netflix or something. It's like a, a Airbnb version in, in America. And they had a lady who makes, who's made uh, made beds like for a profession, some of the top hotel versions. She did like a master course of how to make beds. And having big cushions like this, white sheets, how amazing would that look? So that's what you're, sort of, you're going to be able to make is, is pieces like this. Now, we've used the slash cutter on these as well, which looks amazing, doesn't it? Um, but just those colours together on the white would go beautifully on my bed. Oh, I love it. £22.99. It's a big panel as well. It makes a big cushion, doesn't it? Now, can you see how this has been slashed between the layers? So... I know what they've done. So is this using all three panels and slashing between them? So I think what Debbie's done is laid up all three panels and then slashed between them so you can see. Sewn it first uh, and then, so between each layer, you've got there's layer one, there's layer two, and then underneath is the, the final layer. So that's how, that's why you get all three. Don't get me wrong, you can just make three cushions. But then... Um, I love it, and I really like as as the as it ages as well. Or you can ruffle it up. Can you see how the uh, the cotton's just starting to fray on the edges? It's going to look gorgeous when that all ruffles up. It, I, I love the texture actually over over time with the slash cutter. Uh, so the demo was done on in the studio. On um, we'll find it out for you. So did she use like a part of the 
tool to sort of, is there a brush? Oh, she just used a brush and just brushed it and it started to make the, the edges sort of fray. Can you see over the top? It's just amazing, isn't it? So that's all three panels. Don't get me wrong, it's up to you if you want to make three separate cushions, but you've got enough fabric, you've got a metre and a half of fabric as well, uh, to be able to do this. It's so cool. I love that effect. Yeah, this is what I'd like, please, Joe. $14.99, and that is done using this, which is your Clover Slash Cutter. All of your instructions are on the reverse. Um, it's got two interchangeable guards, one for straight and one for curved slashing, which is cool, isn't it? Uh, also, that would look amazing with your blues. I'm thinking with like your barley pops and things. $14.99. It's like a little rotary blade, but then with a guard, so you're not going to cut, obviously, all the way through. It's a special wheel control mechanism. Moves the blade ahead at regular intervals, 1 to 16 notches, to expose a sharper blade um, surface. If you want to watch the show back, it was on the 25th of April, and, uh, and Debbie actually does a, a, a tutorial of how you use it to create this look with the peonies. Love it. She makes the cushion on air for us in the 9 a.m. hour. Thank you. 15th of April. Sorry, 25th of April. 25th of April. Okay. That's the slash cutter. Let's do the sloths. Love the sloths. Right, we've got the embroidery box, we've got the cutting mat, and we've got the four-in-one, really. Uh, which one do I want to start with? A3 cutting mat is this one. So, um, when we're able to start to go and do some workshops, uh, I know a lot of people who, like me, I, I keep looking at workshops of different hobbies now that I want to start trying different creative things. So, those of you that have found us maybe over the lockdown, found us over the last couple of months, uh, and you're now thinking, right, I'm going to go to a local workshop when I can. This is going to be ideal to take with you, or just to take on the move. And it's adorable. Look at the little sloths. Who's your favourite? The sleepy sloth? The productive sloth making the bunting? The adventurous sloth? I love hearing him in his party hat having a snooze. That's me at the end of a party. Finding a, a, a sofa to curl up on. I don't want to leave, but I'm just going to go have a quick nap. Power nap. So you want to be around because I'll get FOMO. I'll get fear of missing out. So. So the great thing about this is obviously you could put your patterns in there, take it straight to your classes uh, and carry it with you, but you don't have to be lugging around your big cutting mat. You don't need to be lugging around an ironing board because you've got both of them there. Now you could set up your station on uh, your table. We don't all have a craft room to work in. So if you've got your sewing machine set up there, your pressing mat, your cutting mat, you've got your little stations all ready to go. Um, if you've got even more sort of limited space, maybe when you're off to a workshop, it also folds back on itself without damaging the space spine so that you can do your cutting and you can do your pressing uh, again from uh, limited to the space just 29.99 and the cool sloth design what a lovely gift idea for somebody your multi cutting and ironing a3 mat for 29 pound 99 now if you don't need an a3 mat maybe if you want a smaller more compact mat then this is brilliant. This is one of my favourites, actually. And I think if you are after a gift for somebody who's in the, the crafting world, it might not be something that you necessarily think to buy yourself, but I think as a gift, it's going to become extreme. It's going to be one of those gifts that you receive and you think, oh my word, what did I do without this? It's a pressing mat on the sides, both sides. So you can open this out and extend it to have a quite a big cutting mat, uh, pressing mat still. And then on the inside, you've got your cutting mat as before. So a nice size cutting mat. You've also got this sort of velvety sheet, which is used um, like a design wall, basically. So you can, um, you can have all of your fabrics laid out and position them where you want them and check it's happy with it. And then also you've got sandpaper sheets, which if you're doing any of your markings on your fabric or marking any notches or wanting to do any uh, uh, temporary markings on them, it's not going to be slipping and sliding all over the place. It's going to adhere itself to the sandpaper. So it's really, really handy. Lots of our guest designers um, who I've met over the years have actually used uh, very, very similar things to this and find it extremely useful. Victoria Carrington's got one. I think it was she who introduced me to them originally. 14 99 
love that now if you want to complete the set if you love this sloth print we've also got the uh, the, uh, the little sewing box this is so nostalgic for me because I'll always remember having a route through my mum's sewing box when I was young and my grand's sewing box, finding the little thimbles and the, sorting through the buttons and bits and bobs like this. It's a nice size as well. Great and compact. So you've got your pin cushion. You've got, um, again, places to keep your little seam rippers or extra bobbins. Uh, and then you've also got a storage compartment on the top. Lots of nice sectioning trays and then a great uh, space at the bottom as well for storing extra fabric. So if you do have, uh, you know, uh, you don't have a dedicated sewing room, you don't have, you know, lots of storage boxes, this is nice to just take out into the garden maybe to use as your EPP box. That'd be ideal, wouldn't it? £24.99 pence for your sloth sewing box and it's again just a chance to complete the full set if you've got your cutting mats and pressing mats of those uh, a lot of people are loving the peonies fabrics i'm pleased that you managed to find the uh the code just a quick reminder the code on the website is for, for three remember you're getting three of the panels and a meter and a half to make your huge cushion like this it's d f XC06, 25th of April, if you want to watch the demo back, but you need to, to type it in onto, um, onto the website to be able to find this bundle, which is brilliant. Three of your panels, plus a metre and a half of white for £22.99. pence. Fantastic value. The large um, thread box, the embroidery skein organiser that we, uh, we had earlier on in our second hour, very, very popular indeed again. I think we're all thinking about getting ourselves a bit more organised, having a look at what we've got in our stash, what can we make with, um, with you know, the, the skeins that are in there, what can we embellish for toy faces or, uh, you know, embellishing with uh, embroidery. Uh, these are beautiful. Now, inside, you're always you're going to get already 10 randomly selected colours of your DMC gorgeous quality skeins, plus then 100 of these little cards to wrap... Uh, all of your skeins into colour rainbow order. Nice little storage box, just £9.99. Jeanette, we saw your picture on the fan page and I love how organised you are. Get yourself all organised. Because the amount of us that have probably got skeins in bags or drawers or boxes, how much better is this? Jeanette, oh gosh, that makes me so satisfied seeing how organised you are. Look at the different shades. We always need like the before and after, don't we? It's brilliant, isn't it? it? Brilliant to be able to see what you've got. So you know, right, if I'm matching up a blue, look at my, all the shades of blue that Jeanette's got to choose from. You can actually see what you've got. So yeah, make the most of these and have a look on the web shop as uh, I believe the 36 skeins is available at the moment. The 100 skeins is now sold out, but um, we've got plenty of different colours to get you, get you kitted out so you can start organising if you haven't already got things in your stash. But there's 100 bobbing cards in there for £9.99. Thank you, Joe. I referenced the book loads today. I tell you what, it is like your, well, it is your quilter's Bible. It's um, a huge encyclopedia of all it thinks quilting. It launched today. Uh, RRP is 19.99. This today is 15 pounds and 99 pence. And it is filled with so much knowledge for beginners, to intermediates, to advanced quilters. If you're a complete beginner, there is loads that you are gonna learn. Lots of new quilting techniques, uh, lots of patchwork, a lot of applique. There's lots of great quilting techniques as well. Finishing your quilts, starting your quilts, choosing the right fabrics. It's probably one of the most comprehensive quilting books I've ever seen. It's packed full of knowledge. See, I've reached into this finding uh, information about waddings, um, to information about different threads, to information about machine or hand quilting. It's brand new today, but I've got a feeling this isn't going to be in stock for too much longer. Seriously, if you've got it in your basket, have a think about it. Check out as soon as you can. It's only one PMP all day long. Even if you're buying in the repeat or if you're buying it on the web um, outside of the live show, don't worry. It's still only one postage and packaging. There's so much that you're going to be able to do. Lots of projects in there as well. £15.99. Yeah. So, very, very quickly, we literally got a couple of minutes. 
Those of you that have not yet got the Sunburst Tula quilt that launched for John's birthday, it's still available at the moment. I think we've got less than five, yeah, four. Four of these left. We started with 10 of them today and there's loads of you already taken advantage. 149.99 and it's to make the whole 86 inch square. In the last hour I went through all of the fabrics. Have a look back on, um, on YouTube as well as the 29th of May to see all of these fabrics in detail. They're beautiful. You get all of the fabrics you're going to need from Tula Pink to make that incredible quilt. 149.99. Those of you that haven't yet checked out. Even if you've got a different quilt in mind for this, go for it. It has been designed to go with this, uh, this quilt kit, but it's our best selling quilt ever. The most popular quilt kit we've ever launched. Um, I love it, absolutely love it. Have a think about that one, but don't wait too long because we're down to four at 149.99. My word, that was the most jam packed show I've ever done. Now we can breathe, now we can go pop the kettle on, have a bit of a sift through the website and see what's available and check out as soon as you can. Have a look at what's on tomorrow. I'm back with you tomorrow morning, eight o'clock with Fabulous Fabrics um, at nine o'clock. Delphine um, will be back with us. She's done an amazing video demonstration of her Tilda applique cushions at nine o'clock. We're gonna be uh, showing that demonstration and at 10 o'clock, Oh, we've got stripology, we've got stripology. I'm so pleased that that's back in stock. One of my favourite creative grid rulers is, of course, stripology. Um, so do make sure you join me tomorrow from 8 o'clock. Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're up to. Have a bit of a sift through the website. Make the most of the one poster and packaging all day long today. It's been an absolute pleasure to be with both of the Wilcoxes today. Honestly, we have just been jam packed with goodies haven't we now coming up next you don't need to go anywhere there's still going to be uh yesterday's repeat if you missed yesterday's show with john uh then you can watch the show back uh but thank you so so much for your company we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning bright and early at eight o'clock whatever you do stay safe stay well um hopefully we'll see you in the morning i'll see you then tomorrow at eight o'clock